He's not in here. Seriously? Let's just turn this entire place upside down. I don't know where the hell he is. Well, where else can he be then? I don't know. Does he have a house? I thought he said he didn't have a house. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a house until we got the one in Silvervale. Then what the hell? Well, I, I don't know, okay? There are not many bridges in Oncar for us to check under, so it's not like he can be hiding under them like a troll. Do you think that's a possibility? Um, let's go look for some bridges. Yeah, ah, uh, fuck. Okay, um... Does Ankara even have bridges? I don't think so. There's no way he's in the windmill. No, Ovik already claimed that. Yeah. Any no, other I have no clue where he is. inconspicuous places that can be claimed by a homeless person? Uh, there's a sheet of paper on a table. Think they're on and the on sheet? a tree. Check under the paper. And on another table. What? what? Damn. This is a charm. What? You wrote a charm? It doesn't work, though. There's no power in it. There, there's no power in these charms. Is it? Was he trying there's to charm up on car? I don't know. There's, there's one over there. Is it just scattered around? I. There's one. Don't know. Well done. It's like falling breadcrumbs. By <laughs> follow the charms to find the Dan. And they don't go further. Oh no, they do. There's back here. What the? F I wonder what he was trying to do with them. I don't know. I don't recognize the sigils. So maybe something new. Maybe. They seem like a bunch of different ones, though. Huh? Are there any more around? Um. I don't see any extra tables at the moment. We might have gone off track. Surely there's something around here then. By the barn? Question mark? No. There's not a charm staple to a sheep's forehead. <laughs> I feel like that'd be cruel and unusual punishment for the sheep. Uh, yeah. Maybe. There's nothing out here. Hmm. There's the tower up there, but... Hmm. I mean, we didn't check that place, I guess. Which place? The tower. Oh, okay, yeah, we can check there. It's up the road. I guess there were charms leading to the road. Hmm. Here. Okay. You think he's doing okay? <sighs> he was pretty upset. Yeah, he got very pissed off at her. I didn't expect that. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen Dan mad up until now. Not in that way, at least. It was a pretty stressful situation, and... No, look, we know what we came here to do, and we're gonna do it. Yeah, you're right. I'm not changing my mind this time. That is if he is in here. It's a hard if. I mean, I don't know where else to check at this point. It feels like we turned over every stone in this damn city. Yeah. This place has kind of turned into more of a Let's ghost a town than Raven Guard. He's there! He's there! He's there! He's there? There he is. On HD'd. Oh my god. Dan with no Daniel. brain, but Dan. Dan. Hi. Why, why are you up here? What is with all the charms around Ankar? It... Yeah, you, you a litter bug now? Not a litter, but what? Why did you guys come back? Well, we were looking for you, of course. Yeah, I figure it's a no-brainer. We're not done. We're not done? What do you mean? We gotta go back. Rex, you... You don't... Do you remember, like, all the things that they did to you? Like, even in the end there, they were literally... Morgana was trying to kill you. Look, and that's the confusing part, right? Why didn't they call us back? It's not like I lost the collar around my neck. And yet she didn't ring it even after we left. Why didn't she? Why is she still not? 
I mean, it doesn't add up. It doesn't make sense. But they, they. Okay. Um. <clears throat> maybe if I just kind of. Rex, I don't think it's a good idea. Are you seriously trying to? I can hear you, asshole. Okay, what? Fine. What are you trying to do? Yeah, mental fortitude. Dan, seriously? Look, I, I, I just don't understand why you want to go back. It, 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 it's. Okay, listen up and listen good, right? That city, that entire city that we were at. What was the one thing you guys kept telling me the entire time that we were there? Then I needed to rein myself in because there were innocent people, right? I fucked up, and I got innocent people hurt. That one's on me. They had me out from the beginning. They were right. Sure, they were dicks about it, but they were right. I was just there to cause trouble. And sure, maybe it's out of spite, maybe they cast the first stone, but it doesn't change the fact that I did it. All they had to do was slightly piss me off, and I just went out of my way and made things worse. I didn't have to. I chose to. And I paid that price. Why do they have to pay it for me? And look, not everyone there has been mean. I think of Maggie. She's been nothing but nice to us. Think about You're Mona. right. Maybe like, screw guys... Morgana, right? But the rest of that city. We left them with a, a barrier that got broken through. in a dread monster on the run. But like the witch has said, they, can, they handled you, they can handle him. Can but what they... if they can't? When you guys were doing your weird stuff with Medusa, Mona was worried sick about you. I was trying to figure out whatever the hell was going on with Renee and chasing that fantasy, but she was the one rooted in reality. She kept trying to get me back to watching you guys because she was worried about your safety and well-beings. She deeply cares about you, both of you. So yeah, maybe they... they weren't the nicest in the beginning. Maybe they didn't even try to get to know Rex and they were assholes about it all, but that doesn't change that they're human and that they deserve to be protected just as much as everyone else does. Look, this bell hasn't rung. And yeah. if that's the case, then I don't want to know what to expect, but I'm not going to be able to just sit and wonder about it. I don't know about you, but... At the very least, we owe it to the innocent people there. Cool. Glad you didn't lose it. <laughs> no, I've... As much as I thought you guys weren't gonna come back after what the fuck I just did. Dan, did you think we didn't want to be friends anymore or something? Don't we? Look, man, I don't need people sticking up for me or whatever, all right? But it was cool that someone did. You know, there aren't a lot of people that do that. Maybe only, like, two. And they're um, both in this room. But the point is... It would be a dick move to not pay that back, so... Why do you think I threw you the Zephyr? <laughs> Come I hope on, you realize Mom. we're not are, just are you hanging in? with you because of Silvervale. We actually care for you. And you're we can get slightly idiotic to think otherwise. <laughs> I mean, didn't have exactly the best examples, but... <laughs> so, we're in this together. Can we go fix my fuck up? Yeah, we'll go fix your fuck up. Okay, but none of us are going to talk about how Dan and I are kind of idiotic for not noticing that you did that in the first place. Nice on your part. Horrible no, that we didn't notice. I thought about it and it finally clicked. Those shrines, they emanated light magic. Probably made me a little bit more irritable, but it probably seduced you guys into believing whatever stupid poetry she wrote on them. Oh. That makes me feel a little bit better about not noticing you see, you're so idiots yeah okay, i was just what? the fact that we're it idiots so so influential i don't know i mean just think of it this one me and count weren't affected there has to be a reason right 
Maybe. That's the only way I could think of because you look at that and I'm sorry, I just I could not see the bullshit you were spouting. It had to have been magical influence. Make look friendly. Are you talking about yourself or the building? The building. We can get back to. I'll explain more about the building and the this whole. This isn't situation. important. Yeah, we need to. Okay. So we're going. We're doing this. Yes. Unless you think me walking in the general direction <laughs> of a place that I <laughs> necessarily don't want to go <laughs> back you, to. Fuck you, Rex! I'm taking out my feather. <laughs> Let's <laughs> just go. No, put it back. No. Put it back now. No. Put it back. This is insane. Not, this is put it back. No. Put it back. No. Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. I hate the falling noise so much. Cope. I actually just. You're not gonna have it. to do it with my punching noises until you take it off. <laughs> take it off. You're done falling now. You're not gonna fall anymore. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Okay. Point is. The next time I fall, I'm taking it back out. No, just don't fall, Bozo. <laughs> Are you ready? You guys are slow. You gotta get- I was having to beat the shit out of her. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's do this. Let's just make sure everything's okay, and then if- We can decide whether we actually help them or not. Okay? Mm -hmm. That seems fair. Mm -hmm. I just kind of want to make sure that I'm- not right to be worried, you know. Yeah, no, I've I've had the bell on me too. Ow! Oh, Ow. underneath the carriage again. Oh, oh me yep, too. I got spat out the side of it. <laughs> Dog, you guys just got diffed. <laughs> <laughs> Actually diffed. Why did you just get undug instead of TP? <laughs> okay. Why not? <laughs> Everything okay. looks okay. All right. No, it doesn't. Oh, fuck off. Hmm? Oh, 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 oh no. Oh. Uh, There's damage. People. People. Oh, shit. Oh. Is this a dread hunter? I think so. Oh. The dread hunter's unconscious. Oh. Hey, are you okay? Can you hear me? Wait, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit actually no, went no, down. No, 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 yeah. No. Oh, God. Oh, God. Where do we go? We can't go that way. The river got blocked yeah. off. Can't go that um, way. Um, fuck. Um, oh, I mean, up here. Isn't there an alleyway? Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shit. Shit. How did so much change? Yeah, another Dread Hunter's down. They're just oh. unconscious. Looks like whoever did this to them didn't actually want to finish them off the hell is it that guy is it the same guy i i don't know it... damn it they got in and they defeated the hunters how don't worry i can still save the day right no you uh, sit your ass right please, here please thomas yeah, stay just, uh, lilith 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 oh fuck <laughs> this isn't the right eve dial why why does eve have dialogue <laughs> what <laughs> Oh, right click a little first. She probably won't be broken. Yeah, we didn't want to talk to Lilith anyway, right, boys? Mm -mm, no. Mm -hmm. I had no yeah, desire to all. talk to Lilith. None. None. Hi, Tori. Hi, Wolf. Hello, Harky Okay, Harkies. there you go. Lilith has been staring at the ground, but raises her head as you approach. She's brushing Eve's hair out of her eyes as she watches over her. Do you all... She seems shocked to see you. Lilith, where's Morgana? Her mouth draws into a thin line. We... haven't seen her since she told us to retreat. Uh, what? That's... Eve? Oh, diffed, obviously. You know how yep. it be. Diffed, yep. Yeah. You were talking about how bad the lag was getting earlier. That was really funny. Yeah. Had a long, in-depth conversation about that. I've tried to de-lag a bunch of places. Oh, here we go. For the first time, Eve is quiet because she is unconscious. She is luckily breathing, but you notice that there's a massive bruise on her head. Sheesh, I wonder if some of this rubble actually fell on her. Oh. Shit. Another hunter down. Uh he had to have done this. This has to be Darius. More people over here. Why didn't he kill them, though? I, I don't know. 
I just don't know what to bite anymore. I'm so sure that what he said whenever I held my punch was bullshit, and he was just saying that as a tactic. You don't know that. The hunter is injured. We have to help them. Yep, that is unconscious. I in front of my bookstore? <sighs> this is horrible. Dude, I nice think priorities. Bookstore isn't Come on. important. There's a tree there. Mari and Mona! Hey. Surprisingly, Mona and Mari are not bickering, but instead they're speaking to one another quietly. Mari points at a book, trying to figure out a way, but she's obviously incredibly tired. They don't notice as you approach them, seemingly in their own worlds as they talk to one another. They're scheming. Oh, uh, here's the chick that runs the bar, right? I can't remember. Yeah, uh... Rita? Hey! Get to the tavern if you're injured, okay? It'll be safe there. The, the witches will fix this. I, I know it. Why did she call for them to retreat? And these hunters are down too. Yeah, they're down. Remy! Oh Remy! Morgan, please. Where are you? Oh. That's not good. Medusa's in here. Tending to wounded, I'm gonna guess. Probably. Oh wow, I've been dipped on every single dialogue. Medusa is carefully working at healing the wound. Did Wounded. There you go. Ugh, my head is killing me. All those explosions. What's going on? Are the monsters back? This doesn't make uh -uh. sense. He tried to stab Maggie, so how come so many people are still standing? They don't know. Are you injured at all? It's not safe to get to the clinic. So we're using the tavern as our medical house for now. Maggie? You gotta love being diffed. Yep. Maggie! That's not right. That isn't even it. Hello, Mabel. <laughs> They'll fix that in a second. No, Lily? Oh, was this mine? It's a woman. Oh, well, I, I, I always don't know which woman you've taken or not. Even my beautiful shop isn't safe anymore. There we go. Now back to Magatha. Magatha. Magazine. Margaret. Maggetti? Mag Armageddon. Magdalene. Macaroni. Magnet. Macaroon. <laughs> Backstage flame is no longer AFK. <laughs> Maggie groans in, in a bit a bit in pain. I'm still not fully healed. I guess even with Anima I couldn't even do anything before Morgana told us to run. Oh fuck. Thank you for the follow. Where now? Yeah. Um, we can keep going the perimeter, but we can get to the fountain here. Yeah. Okay. Jesus fuck what happened here. Yeah, Ooh, no. There's another hunter. The not too good. Not good. Even They're breathing. Anymore. I feel breath. Oh. Darius. Morgana? Another hunter down. Come on. Shit. They really oh, shit. A oh. oh, shit. Yep. Yep. And we're going to get protag dipped until we find out what's going on. There we go. <laughs> While you approach the scene, your eyes widening in horror as Darius would raise a primal cutter over his shoulder. His eyes widened and staring down at Morgana. His grip is tight around the shaft of the weapon as he watches Morgana lean weakly against the remnants of the fountain, panting and heavily injured. Damn you, Darius. Condemn me all you want, Light Witch. But I'm afraid your time has come. His weapon begins to fall. No! Rex quickly dashes over to stand in front of Morgana, using his sword to cross Darius's once more. There's a long pause as the golden-eyed dread looks down at you in surprise. Silver Eye. Rex? Ten! Riley! 
I won't let you kill her, you got that? In a show of strength, Rex pushes against Darius, shoving him away from Morgana, who looks up at all of you in shock. You all walk to stand against the golden-eyed demon, determined. You all... Must we continue this game any further? How many times must I teach you this lesson? Lily, not the protagonist. Yeah, I was not, but it just showed up. Are are you okay, Morgana? She stares at you all. You. You shouldn't be here. I. You didn't call us. Why not? She hesitates, slowly attempting to pull herself to her feet. It was time for me to fight my own battles. And stop relying on you. Especially considering the poor treatment I enforced on each and every one of you. You showed Silvervel nothing but kindness following your mistake. And that kindness was not returned. I'm truly sorry. I do not expect you to forgive my actions. And therefore, I believe that I would allow you all to continue your lives without my further interference. Yeah, well, don't lose sleep over it, yeah? She pauses, looking back up at you all. What? How could you forgive me so easily? Yeah, well, a wise person once said that everyone deserves a second chance. I think they might have told it to a class of uh, children. She stares at you in utter shock. Before Darius would speak once more, and she narrows her eyes at him. Step aside, children. Our conflict has never concerned you, and your continued appearance in these battles is growing infuriating. Yeah, well, stepping into things that aren't our business is kind of our specialty. <laughs> Fine, then. If you refuse to step aside, I've managed to defeat your group before. Brings me no joy to have to slay you now, but you leave me no choice! He rushes forward towards you all. His gauntlet sparking and his cutter glittering in the moonlight. I don't think so, Darius. Dan steps forward, standing directly in Darius's path. In one fluid motion, he removes a slip of paper from his pocket, scribbling on it and slapping it on the ground. A shield escapes the charm just as Darius would fire an attack towards you all, but the darkness is simply reflected by Dan's light magic. Come on, man! You mentioned the daughter! What did you mean by that? Darius's expression falters. He growls behind his mask. It is none of your concern. You only can try to help you if you're in trouble! I don't need your help! Do you think that this is easy for me?! With great skill, Darius would slash his weapon through Darren's de weak defensive charm, causing the shield to disappear and shatter like golden glass. He lunges forward, taking hold of Dan's collar and literally holding him high before tossing him aside into a tree. Dan! Ah! Oh, shit. Are you... <clears throat> oh, God, Rex. I almost heard my own name. Rex, you and your friends have to leave. Please. Lily draws her bow and tries to fire at Darius, but he shoots the arrow with a focus midair. You expect me to simply change my mind with my decision? Just because you claim you can help me? I don't have a choice in this matter! He equips a different focus, blasting a cloud bolt at Lightly, causing cursed fire to erupt around her. She's blasted backward, rolling on the ground to put out the flames. Lightly! <laughs> a 
before Rex can react, Darius lunges forward once more to strike Rex. Rex blocks it with his crusher, holding the shaft with two hands to hold Darius's superior hold back Darius's superior strength. If I don't do this, she gets sent back to fucking Dramos! I'm not going to let that happen, do you hear me? There's no other way. His eyes darken, and quickly uses his back foot to kick Rex's legs from underneath him. Before Rex can get up, the golden-eyed dread places a foot right on his chest, slowly applying more and more weight, crushing Rex's chest. He turns to point his sword back over Morgana. Therefore, I will do what I must. Wait! Dan lunges at Darius, grabbing hold of the arm that was wielding his weapon. On reaction, Darius gets to swing his free fist into Dan's face. But when he's just in about an inch from his face... Please, listen to me, I just want to talk! He suddenly stops. Dan's eyes are clenched shut, and Darius is fixated on Dan. Morgana watches from her spot, her gaze slowly moving to Dan as well. Is he... speaking to his spirit? Dan's jaw tightens as Darius continues to stare at him, his gaze slowly losing its intensity, until he would slowly lower his fist. I can help you if you just listen. Darius rises to his full height, as Dan would let go of Darius and put his hands up, showing him that it's all right. Darius's weapon slowly lowers from its place before Morgana. What is this? This feeling? Everything is okay. I'm here, Darius. I'm here. He stares at Dan for quite some time. Are you willing to talk now? He glances around the area carefully, almost in a mildly paranoid manner. I... You... you said they had your daughter. Who? He tenses up. They're an incredibly strong person. If I do not do what she says, she'll send my daughter back to Dramos. So I will do what I must to keep this from becoming a reality. He glances toward Morgana, who would still glare at him. And if that means executing the Silverlight Coven, then so be it. I am not losing my daughter a second time. Look, we can find a way to free your daughter then. You don't have to. I do! I don't have a choice in this matter. Don't you understand? I don't take pride in killing the innocent. I hardly take pride in killing those ones! He glances toward the unconscious dread hunters around the area. You don't know what you're up against. Now please stop standing in my way before she hears us. Who is she? He clenches his fists. Silence. Enough talking. I can't... Suddenly, a woman's voice sounds. <laughs> Are you tattling now, Darius? Darius's eyes widen, and his entire body becomes very tense and still. What? Who are you? Show yourself! Or don't, I mean... Yeah, yeah, okay. Free country, I fucking guess. <laughs> <laughs> you all look around. For the sound of heels walks above you. You glance in the sound's direction, immediately casting your gaze upon the rooftops. Your eyes widen, as hot pink fills your vision. And Renee glares down at you with a sinister grin. Uh, Renee? Wait, where am I looking? It's the other building. Wait, <laughs> which building? 
Hold on, what building? We see her in a building. It's just a matter of oh, where. Up there, up oh, there, up there, 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 there. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Up there, ahead, up there. Ahead. Right. We saw right that click. from the start. Right click, yeah. Fuck. Right click. Right click. <laughs> right click. Right click. Okay, there you go. Renee, Renee looks, looks down, down at you. At... Sorry, my bad. Go. Renee looks down at you all from her spot on the rooftop. She cackles. <laughs> oh, poor, poor Darius. I'm disappointed. You've grown soft. Darius takes a step back. Renee. You're working for Renee? I thought you were helping the coven. What? I... What? I thought you said she was okay. She she was. She got permission from Morgana and everything. I I checked it. I'm glad to see that vessels are still easy to trick then. Your kind really haven't changed since that dumb little fairy graveyard. She tosses her hair. Honestly, I guess this might as well happen. You always were just a stupid little dread, Darius. Far too easy to wrap around my little finger. Especially with your daughter on the line. Fuck. You would use his daughter against him like that? Why? This is so messed up. Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> she rolls her eyes with a smirk. I... I knew it! I, I had a feeling about you! I was right! Oh my god, I was right! Oh, come on. You fell victim to my charm too, Lily. I can't blame you. No one expects the fairy. <laughs> I can be sweet and charming. I can play the role they want to play. And everything falls right into place. I even managed to get Morgana to believe me. To think she would just let me get close enough to their precious war word to perform that ritual. And now their entire city is barrier is in my control. So that was your game, huh? It was all a trick. And it was all so easy. You... What? Morgana walks forward, aghast. You tricked me! My entire coven! You are our ally, our friend! How could you betray us? You said you are against Darius, just as we are! <laughs> oh, isn't this so pitiful of the mighty Morgana? I was never on your side. Obviously, I had to side against my partner to get you to trust me. You were naive. All this goddamn time. And the real villain was just walking among us. Now oh, come on. I'm the only villain here. You still blew out those candles, Rex. I have to thank you for that. I was gonna mess with those things myself, but by the time I got there, it turns out you did all the work for me. It was really helpful to our first plan in beating this quaint little dump. Don't you dare speak against my city like that, you heinous girl! Morgana starts to speak before Renee sighs. Oh, are you always this cliché? I literally broke through your protective barrier because of your blind love. You don't have any more room to talk to your precious vessels. And now, if we're all done here, Darius, can we just finish this up already? Darius, Darius growls. growls. Sorry. <laughs> she just fists up at her. Had I known you were here, I would have gone back to Vitrum myself and taken my daughter to safety. Your daughter's from Vitrum? Oh, really? So you're gonna rebel on me too, hmm? <laughs> you're just like those two morons from Mirfield. Meyerfield. There you go. There you go. So blind and dumb. You have a job to finish, remember? Can we just get on with that already?
You'll regret revealing yourself to these people before I finish the job. We're done. I'm taking my daughter back from Vitrum and leaving your, you here to rot in the hands of the witches. Even if you can fly, I know I can run faster. You're not serious, right? She looks down at him before cackling. <laughs> oh my gods, you are serious. You're kidding me. Do you think I was stupid enough to not think of all of that before revealing my master plan? She floaters down from the roof, walking along the build around the building and returning with a young dread girl who has been bound with rope at her ankles and wrists. Dan would recognize her as Steph from Vitrum. <laughs> Let go of me, you psycho! Steph? Stephanie? Darius would state quietly. What is she? You... He would mutter before quietly growling, his eyes beginning to glow. Let her go now, Renee. I'm not an idiot, Darius. Strong dreads like you often have strong children. I'm not going to take my chances. Let her go before I sever your head from your body, fairy. Darius would walk forward with his weapon in hand. However... Renee would hold up her opposing hand, which would glow. She shoots a beam at his feet. I wouldn't do that either. One more step and I'll blast the girl to bits. What? Uh, Please don't. Darius would start. And then get me what I want. She looks over at Morgana, who would still be injured and glaring at Renee. I can't exactly subjugate the little coven if I'm not the matriarch. Kill her. Darius hesitates, looking between Renee and Morgana. Darius, don't. I told you before. I don't have a choice. He adjusts his mask, glaring in Morgana's direction as she would take a small step back. Renee watches with a grin, while Steph continues to struggle in her grip. Please don't, Darius, don't kill. However, in one fluid motion, he watches Darius would spin on his feet and begin to rush towards Renee, his eyes narrow and weapon in hand. Renee's eyes widen. Wait a second! She blasts beams of light in his direction, which he would dodge easily. He leaps up, reaching towards Renee to grapple her to the ground, but she would quickly react, blasting him back in an instant as he would fly and hit Morgana in the impact of the light magic. God damn it! the pauses. Yeah. Taking advantage of the situation, Rex would begin to rush forward, his eyes trained on the kid, Steph. She looks up at you, and time would practically slow. Renee's eyes would widen at you, as she would raise her hand toward you, not expecting you to rush forward at such an angle. You manage to push her, and Renee begins to fall backwards, her grip on Steph loosening and her aim faltering. Her eyes begin to glow as she stares up at you in alarm, preparing a large beam of pure light magic toward you. The blast cuts through everyone. The beam is so bright that you're blinded by its radiance and the raw power. And you swear that you see blood in the light as Steph would fall to the ground and you are all burned in the process. <laughs>
Wax, are you okay? Uh, yeah. Okay. Wax, uh, I have uh, my fucking head. Yeah. You, you got hit there, bud. Uh, pretty hard at that. Light magic. Uh, Renee paces near an unconscious Morgana, growling in anger and even screaming. Yeah! Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! <sighs> she glances towards Steph, who would be on the ground, blood spilling from a wound on her head. Steph would be motionless on the ground. You just had to get in my way. Seriously? I didn't want to kill the fucking kid, but now? And what the fuck? Steph? Hey, Steph, wake up! Hey! No. Can you hear me? Steph! Uh. She's dead, you idiot. She's dead because you decided to run at me like some damn bull and it clipped her. Do you even realize how stupid you are? Why the hell did you run at me, huh? That could have actually survived if you did what I wanted, but no! And now look what you made me do. You morons! You're the one that did that. You're the awful one. Yeah, okay. I'm the awful one when you made me do that. She watches you all slowly recover and stand. Fuck this. She quickly kneels down, pulling the necklace from Morgana's body. In an instant, she flutters her wings, taking flight and soaring away quickly. Wait a second! You all pause, watching her go towards the forest in the direction of Selene's church. However, Darius's movement nearby causes you all to redirect your attention. He weakly crawls towards his daughter, coughing a bit. Darius? You alive? He doesn't respond as he continues to crawl forward, reaching for Steph. Stephanie? Can you hear me? Please. He mutters weakly pulling himself to sit up in pain from the light attack. Shit! She, uh, we need to go after her. Yeah, um, fuck. Uh, Rex, you good? Go. We'll get her. We're gonna fix this. I can't yes. move. Just go. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Shit. She couldn't have gotten that far ahead, could she have? Nope, she's like right there. I should have known I had the gut instinct, Dan. I let it go. I you sat didn't... there and I told you guys it would be okay. I feel like an idiot. This you is... didn't know. But I did! I... Shit! Okay. Where did she go? Where did she go? I, I, um... I, I, I don't know. It's hard to see. It's see, so... flapping pink. Flapping pink. God damn it. She's kind of wearing all pink. Yeah. Oh. Renee would flee quickly, soaring down the forest path glancing behind her as you chase. You're seriously going to just chase me? <laughs> Idiots. Don't you know that fairies can fly faster than your little legs can move? Eat my dust, bitches. She sticks her tongue out at all of you and begins to fly even faster. Oh, <laughs> no you don't. Lily skids to a stop. She notches an arrow into her bow and pulls it back, closing one eye and lining up her shot. A second goes by and she releases the shot. The arrow flies, but Renee quickly dodges out of the way. Nice try, idiot. You're not catching me. Oh, she's too fast. You continue to run down the path after Renee, but she would still have quite a bit of distance between you all. Lily had the right idea. You have to stop her from flying. But if all she does is dodge Lily's arrows, then what? Dan pauses, glancing towards the forest and looking through the trees into the darkness. As you look towards the forest, you get an idea. Wiley, keep just trying to shoot her down. I... I can try? Just keep doing it, okay? Okay. Trust me. I should have enough arrows. I... yeah, I, I, I can keep trying. You give Dan a small nod as you continue to run notching more arrows into your bow, all of which fail to connect. Meanwhile, Dan starts to focus on the trees nearest Renee. The branches, the leaves. There has to be some way of stopping her, 
and catching her off guard. Think of the rabbit. Think of the rabbit. Think of the rabbit. You open your eyes and focus your power on a branch just ahead of Renee's path. In an instant, following your imaginative whims, a bunny jumps from the branch, inches from Renee's face. Ah! Ah! She stops in her tracks, her wings quickly fluttering, as she pauses to look at the rabbit as it hops down from the tree and away from the path. Lily, now! You run forward and quickly notch your final arrow, pulling it back and firing. You watch as it soars through the air, piercing the glittering and transparent matter of Renee's wing. She cries out, falling from the sky and skidding to her knees. Ugh, you assholes! Do you have any idea what you're doing? She snaps, a look back at you all. Dan, hold her down. Get the necklace and the crown. It has some sort of weird power. Got it. Dan rushes forward, skidding to his own knees to hold down Renee, taking her by the arms. Get your disgusting human hands off of me, you- Renee, it's time to calm down. You focus, reaching out to Renee's spirit, in an attempt to quell her just as you had Darius. Your stare is firm as you continue to force Renee into the ground, your jaw tightening. Just listen to me. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Listen to me. It's gonna be okay. Oh. You grasp for anything to speak to, any way to communicate with her. However, just as Lily would arrive at the scene as well, Renee would simply smirk swiping her foot under Dan and knocking him onto his ass before firing a beam at Lily. Are you really trying to manipulate me? I invented manipulation, you worthless bitch! She weakly flutters back on one wing, unable to stay airborne for long, and cursing to herself. Damn it. Shit. She turns to each of you, her eyes beginning to glow. Fine then. If you're so obsessed with me, why don't I give you the privilege of getting rocked by the power you tried to protect? She puts the necklace on as you both recover. She cackles. <laughs> Game over. Man, what the fuck? Oh, uh, fuck. Where'd she go? Shit, shit, shit. Up there! You found her? Yep, yep, yep. Fuck! Oh, God, okay, oh, yep. God, Make dodge, sure you're dodging. Dodge, Make sure yep, you're dodging. dodging. Shit! Oh, oh my God, she is okay, aiming hold on, straight hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to I need to do a charm. I need to do a charm. Okay, hold on. Okay, you just... can figure something out. You can figure it out. I, I have her distracted at the moment. Oh, wait. Yeah, chest plate fucking... I'm just gonna fucking start using this, like, goddamn um, sickle. Yeah. Just, just carve. Just, just strength. Don't, don't think too hard on it, okay? Yeah, I'm doing it. Okay. Shit. Okay, I, I think I hit her once. Oh, there you go. There you go again. Shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, okay. Oh, shit. I think I got it. I'm trying to take come cover. On. I'm keeping you distracted. Come on, 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 come on. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You got something? Yep, got it. Ah! Oh, I don't want to hit you. Oh, it's fine. Ow. I'm trying to like, keep her off of you, but it's really difficult. Shit. Stupid fucking spell. Oh shit, oh shit. Fuck. Ow, ow. Oh. There we go. Oh, oh no. Uh. Okay, okay, okay. Um, just keep doing what you're doing. Oh. Shit. I have to get closer. Oh, oh no, too close, too yeah, watch close. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, oh that probably shit. hurt, huh? How yeah, much well, strength no. do I have? A lot. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. okay, we can we can figure this out. We can figure this out. Mm. 
Ow, ow. Hold on. Okay. Um, Lily, distract her. I'm gonna try uh, to run up behind okay, her. Okay, okay, okay. I'm trying. I'm trying. Hey, over here, you um. Oh, fuck, cloud, cloud. Just call her cloud. a bitch. You bitch. You like calling us bitches? You're the you're the real bitch. Just to throw that one out there. Fuck you. Okay. Um. How dare you hurt our friends? If you don't even care about this town, then why do you want to be the leader so badly? None of it even uh, made sense. Ah, uh, fuck. Shit. Oh, she's way back there. Fuck, hold on. You know what? This is a new spell. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, when she does that, I... It's best to just oh 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 wow she blew it up on herself. Yeah, she's Isn't not really much. that great with magic, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Someone's wearing down, I guess. Oh, I'm so happy I got this spell. You're doing great. <laughs> Can't handle what you take or give. Shit, fuck. You were so vocal before. Saying how you're better, we can never catch you, but guess who's on the ground now? Ah, oh, fuck. You didn't last so long taunting now, did you? And now you're forced to face us over here. Didn't think you had to fight us, huh? You were just wanted to, just wanted to use people, huh? Yeah, you thought you were gonna run away and get off Scott clean. Well, I hate to break it to you, girly. It's not that simple. Uh Watch out, watch out, watch out. You may have out. convinced me you were good before, but good luck getting away now. Fuck. Maybe don't reveal yourself next time. Oh. Yeah, I, th I think it's like actually villain number one's kind of handbook not to actually Shh. reveal yourself. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like lesson one on how not to screw yourself over. Don't reveal yourself. Fuck, or were fuck, you just ow. so confident that it didn't matter? Shit, okay. Mm. Wearing out? <sighs> I think maybe. What? What is it, Renee? I'd love to know. Oh, really? Fuck. You good? Yeah. Right in my face. Ah, fuck, fuck, shit, fuck. Shit. Lily? You yeah, good? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Actually blinding me. Where the fuck is she? I don't know. Renee would pant a bit before she grins happily. All right, then. You want to play the game this way? I have a couple of extra trips up, tricks up my sleeve, too. Bring it on. Dan would rush forward without any hesitation as Lily remains back, notching another arrow. Renee, however, would stand very still. The moment that Dan gets within melee range of her, she would quickly bring up her hand and slam her palm into his chest. And in an instant, Dan's spirit is detached from his body. That's Mercana's power. Dan! Shit! I do. Okay, okay, okay. Slight panic, slight panic. There I go. <gasps> she stares at your spirit and laughs. <laughs> I try to warn you. Honestly, this is all your fault for getting in my way like that. She looks down at her necklace, cackling. <laughs> This power, it's so invigorating. I can feel it coursing through me. So this is the power of a coven matriarch. And Morgana wanted to keep it all to herself. It's... 
You... You... Oh, please. Don't be such a sore loser. It was obvious that I was going to win, you know. I have the crown, and now I even have the power of the moon. <laughs> You're so powerful, then eat this shit! Adam would fly forward in his spirit form, and much to your surprise, he would force himself through Renee's body, causing her spirit to fly out as well, in Dan's arms. What? 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 Dan, I... How? How? This is such bullshit. How the hell did you manage to do that, huh? I don't... That would be me, actually. A voice would sound from behind you. You watch as a glowing figure would begin to slowly walk forward. Hooded. She looks up at you. Her hands clasped in front of her. Lily recognizes this woman. From Rorik's Mindscape. The mysterious hooded woman. Who the hell? Wait. This... This presence, don't, don't tell me. Who are you? The woman halts, raising her arms. Me? I am Calypso, the goddess of the moon. Goddess? Oh, you're kidding me. Or Calypso? I foresaw this conflict. And I foresaw your determination to stand by the side of the Light Coven, far before you realized the gravity of this plot. From the very beginning, I have watched you in the night, for I knew that you vessels would prevail, where the Silver Light Coven never could. She points at Dan. You. And the Tread. You are a being of light. Coming together with the being of the darkness. You are the balance that the coven needed to witness. And I knew that you would be the ones to end her schemes. For Morgana could never practice that which she did not understand before you came along. The balance, that is what the darkness truly represents. The moon has two faces, the light and the dark. There is no moon without either light or darkness to hold it up in the sky. And that is why you needed to bring down the moon. By bringing it down, the light. She looks over at Renee. Take the crown and that necklace. It does not belong to her. What? No, you, you can't do that. You bet your ass we can. Lily walks over slowly, taking the necklace and the crown from Renee entirely. The moment the necklace leaves her throat, Dan and Renee both immediately return to their original physical states. No. God, God damn it, are you kidding me? Do you even realize how much progress you just lost me? Sucks, doesn't it? Renee would quickly pull herself out of her grips, out of your grips, shoving you all back and running into the darkness of the forest. This isn't over, you hear me? Fuck you all. Uh, what the fuck just happened?
good? Are we good? Yeah. Okay, we're good. Gay. Thanks.
since we're on like a mini break, I'm gonna unmute so we can chat and do a little, little, little chitty chat and all of that. Do, 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 do. Okay. So, why are my warheads extra sour? Oh, that sounds so good though. I want super sour warheads. Also, hello everyone. I didn't get to do like a little talk back and talk back. Talk back usually infers that it's the end of something. So, like an intro talk. Yep, that. Yep. At the beginning of stream, so I'll do it now. Hello, everyone. I don't think I said hi to Ven earlier, so hi, Ven. Hello, Silent Slytherin. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hi, Ezri. Hello, Silver. How are you guys all doing? Um, I hope you're enjoying the stream so far. Things are going well. Sorry, we had to do like a little intermittent break right now. Uh, we had some technical difficulties with computers crashing, so things are happening there. Hydrate. Ooh, I can do that. I actually... Because, like, I've been getting over this, like, sickness thing for, like, over two weeks now. <laughs> it's, like, lingering. Ah. Um, I've been drinking so much water as a result of it. And in the middle of that dialogue, I drank one and a half water bottles. So I literally only have, like, actually more than half. Because this is, this one's almost done. But, yeah. Hydration complete. Um, virtual hug. I give you a hug and a pat back, Tori. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. My tongue is, wait, disintegrate. Oh, disintegrating. Yes, that is unfortunate. Don't, don't let it disintegrate. <laughs> Tell the warheads to be less sour and, and vibe with that. But also the potatoes might actually help with that as well. Also, that is so cool. Wait, okay, when you mean mini potatoes, are they like cooked? Are they uncooked? Are they chopped up? I'm really interested in this. Like when I first read the comment, I was muted so you couldn't hear my reaction, but I was like, oh, this is so wholesome. And I was like, they're, they're chilling with their stream, a bag of, pota a bag of potatoes. <laughs> I, <was> like, <laughs> I finished the potatoes. Oh, no, you finished them. So you can't, you can't use it to like, they are cooked. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. That is pretty pog. I feel like Potatoes are one of those things where you can prepare them in many different ways. Like, I've been learning to cook with my family over the summer, and I've learned so many ways to fucking just, like, bake potatoes, because you can cut them in half and make baked potatoes. You can, um, like, dice them and make little, little mini fry potatoes. You can make, like, fry fries. You can make chips out of them. You can make fry chips, which are, like, fries shaped like little, like, chips. And, it, yeah, like, so many ways to make potatoes. It's actually kind of insane. And then, don't forget mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Ten out of ten. Sorry, I'm really getting into the potato conversation right now. I'm so sorry. I'm, like, disregarding everything else. Um, Hey, Lily, how's it going? Sorry I missed several of these streams late. I've been swamped with school and work. Do not worry. Um... Streams are never a mandatory thing. It should be like the type of thing, you know, you come when you can, if you want only. Like if you ever like get bored or you just don't want to like do it anymore, never feel forced to come to a stream. Bobs are always there if you want to catch up or whatever. But it's nothing to apologize for. It's meant to be a fun place where people can like unwind and relax and all of that jazz. Um, speaking of streams, quick like update on that. So things have been pretty busy. However, Mythos stuff will be continuing as per usual. Um, we'll finally be getting more scarce at this point. I know we've been going back to back and whatnot. But as this gets more scarce, uh, I'll be doing other types of streams, which I'm really excited for. So I have some building ones lined up pretty soon because I want to be building like this office thing. We're going to use Miniaturia, my favorite, um, and do a bunch of stuff with that, which I'm really excited about. So that's pretty hypey. And then I also want to play some of the games. Like, Arky's been trying to get me to play Amori, and honestly, I would love to. So, pretty high on my list at the moment. We'll probably get into that. But yeah, I think I scared someone in my band talking about potatoes. What? Why? I remember. I went to, like, this summer camp, like, way... I say way back. It wasn't that long ago. But growing up as a kid, I went to it. And there's this one person who I was friends with that would always ask people when they first met them um, what their favorite breed of potato was. I'm not even kidding. This was like their question. You know what? Based. Absolutely based. Because it's such a unique question. It makes people think. Also, at the time, I don't think anyone knew anything other than like golden potatoes or whatever. I don't even think I knew the name of them at the time. So... Yeah. <laughs> Amori is my second favorite game. Ooh, what is your first? I'm curious. Um, I'm trying to think, what is my favorite game? Not counting Minecraft, because 
yeah, Hollow Knight. Oh, Hollow Knight is really good. Um, I remember when Rex played that way back. That was pretty solid. Um, I'm trying to think. If I had to rank games, what would I put? Secrets of Grindy is really high up there. I think that new Harry Potter game will hopefully be high up as well. But damn, what are some good games? Soma's pretty good. I used to love Until Dawn. I've never actually even played it for myself, but I watched like 15 different gameplays of it just from like different people and whatnot. So that one's pretty high up there. But though I guess it can't really count if I've never played it myself. Hmm. But yeah, hi, Zach. How are you doing today? How's you been? Oh my god, guys, did you do anything fun for Halloween? Feel free to let me know. I want to hear everyone's fun plans. I need to live vicariously through everyone else because my Halloween was spent doing homework. And I was, it was, it was tragic, truly. But I did get these really good, um, candy stuff. Uh, what is it? Um, dip a dip a dip not dum-dums i called them dum-dums earlier but that's not what they are it's the ones with the tootsie rolls in the middle is it tootsie pops is that just what it's called i don't know the bag's too far away so i can't get it i didn't i got smacked in the face by one of my friends oh no i went trick-or-treating with my friends nice nice oh what did you dress up as is it, is it called a tootsie pop okay okay it is that's good that's good good to know um in that case yes i had a tootsie pop and it was fantastic absolutely like living with it I got like this whole bag from CVS or whatever and I've just been making my way through it although okay there's this one flavor it's like a brown one but I don't know what the flavor is meant to be is it supposed to be chocolate the chocolate flavored Tootsie Pop but that doesn't make sense considering the chocolate is the Tootsie part I don't know I don't like the flavor whatever the brown one is meant to be I'm not a fan of it I also don't like the purple one as much but that one it, it could be it could be worse I like the red ones like all of the the cherry one 10 out of 10 my favorite uh, I also had a Halloween tryout date. It was spooky and romantic. We got official though. Oh, that's really cute. I hope it went really well and all of that. Um, if you streamed the Harry Potter game, i totally watch. Oh my god, I will, I will, I will. It comes out February 10th, but I pre-ordered the like deluxe version because it was only like 10 or 15 more bucks. So I actually get access to it three days in advance. So I think that's on the, the 7th or it's the 10th and it actually comes out on the 13th. I don't know which is which. However, I will be streaming that entire playthrough. It'll be like just, God, I'll, I'll be playing so much of the game. You guys are going to get sick of it. I'm, I'm very, very hyped though. I've been talking about this game since it was supposed to be back like released in 2020 two when it was first announced it was like oh yes we'll be releasing this in 2022 or well actually it was 2021 but then they pushed it to 2022 and then they got pushed to 2023 so yeah yeah nerd valid absolutely valid <laughs> uh i'm still waiting on the among us game i do need to set that up i really really do i want to play with you then um yeah the god of mods then yes 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 we, we, we vibe with that. I will be sending that up at some point. Keep nagging me, honestly. Like, remind me every chance you get. Otherwise, I will keep forgetting. <laughs> um, one point, it might, like, I might set it up for my week off because I'll definitely be able to do it. Maybe we can do, like, two game nights that week or something, which is, like, Thanksgiving week because I get, like, a full, like, mini fall break, per se. So it would be really good to then. Yay, yeah, 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 you were briefly mentioned. We were talking about having a game night, and Zach was saying they really wanted to play with you. Awesome, you're the best, Lily. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Wait, let me check something really quickly. Uh, okay, okay. Wait, I will be right back, chat. Or we might, okay, I might be back or we'll be getting back into things. So, yeah. I'm back. <laughs> I was wrong. Um, but yeah, you should make it a temporary redeem. Oh, wait, what should I make a redeem? I might have missed something. Let me go up. Let me know, and I will, I will, I will, oh, yes. <laughs> also, yeah, I want to hear about, like, I hope your date went really well and all of that. I know one thing I want to do is I really want to do something fun. Oh, reminding you of the Among Us game night. <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, that's actually really fucking funny. I kind of want to do that. <laughs> remind, remind me. <laughs> Game night suggestion redeem. Ooh, that is good too. Although I could probably make a channel for that in my Discord server. I just have to remember to do that. So feel free to remind me on that one as well. I have to like always edit things with my server. I have to remember to do that. I still have to finish uploading everything to YouTube so that I can finally like turn the notifications back on or at least like alert everyone in their discord that they can turn their notifications back on because i know like you don't you didn't take it off Zach, but i know most people did and rightfully so because like 200 plus pings is a lot it's especially spread out over like random days imagine you're just doing your stuff you look down at discord and you get like 50 pings and it's like hmm hmm yeah i really didn't yeah exactly so it do be that way sometimes but yeah <laughs> All right, uh, okay, now I think I'm gonna be or be and we'll be getting back into things. We'll see though, I might return again. Wow. So, you chased her out into the forest, and then Lily pulled the necklace and the crown off of her after you talked to the goddess. Yeah, some, yeah. pretty much it. Yeah. And then she ran away? Well, I mean, there was this part where um, I kind of fucking yeeted her out of her body, first of all. Yeah, that happened. When he was already yeeted out as his body, your terminology, not mine. How did you do that exactly? Lipso? Right. Okay, okay, I see now, I see. Huh. Well, he probably would have actually won that fight, maybe. If she didn't have that stupid necklace. This is what it sounded like. Yeah. Hector, thank you for the follow. Yeah, she kind of pretty much... Yeah, she just was being an ass about it, and oh, I have so much power, or whatever. She was batshit insane. Yeah, I got the feeling. She seemed really pissed off about the kid, though. I mean, she didn't seem like she wanted to kill the kid. Yeah, Still, much of a silver so lining that up. is. I'm not trying to justify her actions, yeah. 
you did seem really mad about it. Yeah. Uh, but good news is she's disarmed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And good news is the kid's okay. Okay, it, that's 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 what? good to hear. Uh, yeah. Turns out they didn't die. But they looked. We're talking about the same kid, right? And not too many others, I see. They were... They looked dead. It's a miracle, I guess. But, um... And then she woke back up, and then... Darius told her that he was her dad. She didn't they even know? They seemed to connect over that. No, so apparently... Um, from what I understood, from what I heard, um, they were refugees from, uh, Dreamos. And, um, well, he actually, so, you know how he kind of kicked our ass up, yeah. down, sideways, yeah. wiped us across the street? Yeah. Considering he was, like, a lot more skilled and actually so, fighting than you, yep. He said he was from Dreamos. He used to rule under the other king, King Mantis. Um, and then Mantis got, you know, killed. And, um, the new king didn't trust any of King Mantis's, you know, guard. So he's having them dealt with. So to protect him and his family, um, he took his daughter. Don't know what happened to the wife. Um, took his daughter and he fled to Mythos. But, you know, he's a high-ranking dread. They're dread hunters. There are possible people that would still come and hunt him down and try to kill him. Mm. He didn't want his daughter to have to deal with that. So he found a remote town called Vitrum, found a dread woman there that might understand their plight, and adopted his child into her care. So okay. she spent her whole life growing up with this other woman um, and had no idea who her original family was. And I think they're talking about it now. Yeah. I no. See. That makes sense why he was in Vitrum when I met him. Yeah. According to him, he was checking on her because he was worried. And that was a mistake. Apparently, one of those times where he was checking on her, that's how he met Renee. And that's how Renee found out that he had a daughter and that his daughter was there. Then she used that information to blackmail him because she was one of the only people that knew about his daughter's whereabouts. <sighs> Couldn't move her because she knew where or his daughter was, and so he had to do everything he could. Whenever he ran into you and Mona, turns out he was checking up on his daughter to make sure they were still okay. And then Renee found out Mona was in the same city and told him to go for it. Makes sense. I mean, with Vitrum, literally the entire fucking void came out of nowhere. Well, now <laughs> we know, but... Yeah. Of course he would be worried about his daughter. Yeah. That... Makes sense. Mm -hmm. oh, they're connecting now. I don't know if his like worries about being hunted or creating a dangerous life for her are like completely gone. I have no idea how they're gonna navigate that minefield, but they have the choice now. Yeah, they don't have a Renee dealing with whatever the fuck she was doing. God damn. <sighs> I should have known. I. You didn't know. You heard her back at the forest. I'm the... What was it? She said, I'm the queen of manipulation. I invented it. Me, 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 me. She invented it? She actually she, said she, that. Yeah, she's dead ass. She's oh my god. Oh my god. And then she's like, I'm gonna eat you for Melody. And then that entire interaction happened. Ugh. Yeah. Like Good that on you. Off her face, it shot I mean, her even if sky. that goddess gave it to the, gave you the ability, and you were the one to actually do it. Imagine if you never decided to get angry and just what try to <laughs> Superman dive through her. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? This lesson I have to learn: don't overthink it, just do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Allow yourself to get angry because apparently you do some badass shit while you do it. It came full <laughs> circle right there. <laughs> yep. There you go. What did Clipso say to you? Oh, she, um... You well, when I was, her. you know, blacking out from the fact that I took a laser beam to the face, uh... 
she um just was just the same cryptic and she said uh me and you were light and dark that's pretty much it she mentioned that too yeah jane i guess i got it i act all dark and whatever dan acted all light and she stressed the importance of well, um, coming here to show the coven that they were blinded by the light, but it turns out that the real villain this whole time was Renee, a light being, not Darius, who turned out to be innocent as a dark being. You know, I... I've met her before. I saw her in Rourke's mindscape. Whoa, when you were traipsing through his end without us? Yeah, when our... they... The minds keeps from blending or whatever I saw her. Oh well, look at that, Dan. Miley beat us both to the punch. Yeah, apparently. God. <laughs> Maybe you are the balance that she was like finding in the first place and then she's like, Well, I need to, to teach a lesson and silver veil because dark can't do with light i shouldn't be making fun of her voice that doesn't feel right that did, i wasn't trying to make fun of oh my god it just hit me what what of uh, do you remember when honora knocked me out inside that dread camp yeah yeah, yeah well i went through this entire dream and i had no bearing on if it was real or not um and I made my way through Silvervale, and I made myself all the way up to the astronomy tower over there. Mm -hmm. And there were two women in there. One of them was Calypso. But that other one was the fucking priestess! Oh. oh. Okay, first of all, you need to start communicating a lot better, buddy, because I wish I knew that before. Oh. It slipped my mind, I didn't think it was important! Yeah, it's a little bit important! It's not important. I thought it was a dream, I had no bearing if it was real oh, or not. Why, do we have someone to tell you about I all my talk, dreams now? I talked to a goddess, that's not important. That's I thought it was all. a dream! I, is Rex, I didn't realize it wasn't a dream until I actually just talked to her just now. <laughs> there was that second hooded figure right there, she was all smug and smiling you know, underneath her hood. You know, it was Rex, Celine. You know, we need to, we need to have a little, little conversation. We need, as a Sometimes group of- Sometimes we tell you these things, like, you know, open up to us, you can talk it to us. It was a dream! I didn't know it was real! What, you want me to tell you about all my dreams now? Okay, so the okay, other day, yes. I, like, fell asleep, and actually had a dream that I was doing a mukbang video, but okay, I had well, two that's mouths. that's not important, but if you have a, a dream about something that is based in reality, and is, like, really freaky for whatever reason, maybe you should mention it. Maybe. I have dreams of splitting the skull of Alienus open all the time. Yeah. That's also good to know. <laughs> that is probably good to know. Yeah, I mean, good God, to know. Alienus. Thank you for telling us, Rex. Well, I mean, yeah, with her whole. Did we catch her up on Kane? I don't think we ever did. Nah, it wasn't really. Alienus, Alienus let us through. Did she now? She let us kill him. Why? No clue. Hmm. Probably because he was annoying from the look on her face. The turning of April in Machina's head. She seemed really annoyed to be working with him. I just can't believe that the opportunity presented itself for him to get killed and she just let it happen. Yeah. She's only out for herself, that's clear now. Then why the fuck did she... I... It's done. There's nothing to change about it now. Exactly. We can't do anything about it. Marilla kept, um, studying. Him? Yeah. Her. Um. Yeah, she's... Still nothing. Nothing even close. Mm. It's I mean... like, um... The memories weren't there to begin with. Hmm.
That's, um, but I didn't care to hear what happened that day. But now I know it wouldn't have made any difference, so. It's my fault. Sorry. You can't blame yourself for something like that. No, no, it's... You're right, it wasn't in my control fully, but... At the end of the day, it's not like I could just stop. Yeah. If she never met me, if she never was involved with me, if I didn't invite her to blood up, if I didn't do a million things, she wouldn't be where she is now. I mean, you could say that about a million different people. But at the end of the day, she made that decision for herself. You're right. And I'll have to live with that for the rest of my life. Life is weird that way. We can't live without... We can't have good times without the bad, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that kid, um... Uh, I heard, uh... Apparently, um, when the kid was, uh, dying, mm -hmm. the last things they could think about were just... Their worst memories. Really? Yeah. You, you know, we delude ourselves to think that our life flashes before our eyes when we die, and it, it does in a way. It's, um, it crumbles. The memories fade with you. They leave. They fall apart. They um, collapse. They become aware of themselves. They have this dread, this existentialism. They mourn that they're going. It's, death isn't a gorgeous thing, it's a bit tragic. You live through every single sorrowful thing you can think of. You mourn, you wonder, is this all my life is? Is this all it turned out to be? As you watch it crumble around you, and then you get weightless. You start lifting from the ground from your own mind. You leave it behind into the inky void. But, um, I think that makes life all the more important. If the bad really does stand out that much, and if it's what's with you when you go, doesn't that mean you should do your best to try to counter that as much as possible? Yeah. Yeah. If we could die in this world, I wonder what memories would flash through my mind before I faded. As my spirit would lift from my body. <laughs> when a uh, teal was taking me over, I just saw the library. That was it. Just the library. My books fading from the shelves. There was no one. There was, um... Just the, uh, crumbling walls. And I made it to the guild hall, and it was empty. Like, um... Everyone that was there was gone. For one reason or another. Maybe that's the closest I'll get to knowing what it would be like. I don't think that's fair to yourself. You do have people here. Yeah, I mean, kind of two very stubborn people that are standing in front of you i don't know who they <laughs> are i don't know maybe one of them is called Bwibi and the other one's called Anne or some shit i don't fucking no you're right i mean i think what i was seeing was my biggest fear being alone and losing everything around me but at the same time it was 
the reason I fought to come back was because I didn't guys you could do it without me. Do you hear any of the things that we said during that teal fight? No. That was someone else entirely. I wasn't there. I wasn't present. When you saw me was when I saw you. In the deep, crumbling recesses of my own mind. That's a completely different entity in control of that body. A completely different person with their own personality and their own memories. You know, it's probably for the best. Knowing you, you'd cringe at all the stuff we were saying about you. Oh dear God, yeah. It's good to know that you guys would respect me enough to not say it to my face. I appreciate that deeply. <laughs> Anyways, what I said- No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I so, know you don't yeah, like that's outward a... compliments like that. Just... Please do know... We deeply care about you. And we fought tooth and nail and would have continued to have fought for centuries if that's what it took to get you back out in that situation. Yeah, I mean, we weren't exactly hearing Teal every time he was like, Rex isn't here anymore. And I'm and like, literally, I think me and everyone went <laughs> fucking berserk. I mean, he was right. I wasn't there. I pulled myself back there. But I wasn't there anymore. By all yeah. intents and purposes, I think that was the closest I've got to dead. My spirit was leaving that world. Coming back to ours. Well. But, um... If I can just ask one favor. I'm never going to have my form get taken over again by those two assholes, you know, so that's not the worry. But if my time does come, and it's looking like I'm going to go for real, let it happen. Please. I want to know what it's like to leave for the last time. I just hope I can finish everything before that happens. But if I don't, then... just do it for me. That's what you want? Of course. But... You're a little too stubborn to actually fucking die that quickly, right? Yeah, it's gonna take a lot to take me down. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> Quite literally the most stubborn- Literally the most stubborn bastard. You didn't even want my help the first time we've met. <laughs> you, you were like, no! Oh my no. god, I've known this he had shit jump bag for like, ever, and you should have seen him. Like, I met him when he fell into ago. that volcano. Yep. Oh, couple, don't, don't. I'm, don't, I'm, 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 I'm bringing no, this up. No, you should be. You should be. Mm -hmm. I was so I remember immature. him wearing this like bright red outfit all the time. Oh. It was like glaring every time I looked at him, blinded. And then on top of that, he walked around with this outfit that blinds people and was like, "Oh God, you don't have to be near me. I need to be alone. <laughs> I can only do this alone." Cause I'm a lone wolf. My bright red shirt. God, my house is so small, Wiley. The fuck you did to my house. <laughs> <laughs> your, your, your city is shit. There's slugs everywhere. God. I'm so edgy. I got my red shirt. That was him. That was red him. Red shirt. Oh, yeah, I was just shirt. there to have fun. I wasn't, you know, I didn't take things seriously. My problem. I know better now. Yeah. It was his catchphrase. Mm-hmm. Not my problem. Yeah. You've grown a lot since then. No, yeah, you're right. I think we all have in some way. Yeah. And you mean, actually do things. <laughs> Jesus, you don't have to fucking say that bullshit to me. Hey, it's okay, it's okay, Dan. I remember this one time we had to go look for this dragon 
And I was like, yeah, we'll go find the dragon. And he's like, dragons don't exist. And I was like, what do you mean, red shirt? And he's like, they don't exist. You're such a dumbass. And then there's, okay, there's no like, way I had a red shirt at that point. There's okay, no maybe way. Not, maybe not. I'm just continuing the red shirt bit. No, but, like, but, but in a way, he is right, Lily. That That's why I'm laughing. <laughs> King Grizz, thank you for following. Quite literally, I mean, you guys didn't know who the fuck I was for most of... When I was when I first came here, no, I yeah, I only met you after a swan dived into a volcano. Yeah, quite literally. I only recently mm -hmm. got close with you. Yeah, I kind of stuck to Ankar. I didn't. I felt like I had to stay, and I wasn't exactly needed anywhere else, and I was scared. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, I was told you could be part of a guild, and I was like, finally, I can be useful for something, anything, anything at all, and. They left too. Hmm. But. So I didn't quite know what I wanted to do until, believe it or not, your dumbass came out of the fucking woodwork. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, well, <laughs> this guy reminds me of like Flux, the first thing I ever saw oh. when I came here. Yeah, that that's right. I don't know if Flux remembers, but he trapped me in a fucking wall. That's what he that's did. Up. He trapped me in a wall. <laughs> I hear incoherent screaming, so yeah. I'm going to guess that's a... Nope, never mind. What? <laughs> yeah, he has no recollection of you. That was just the usual screaming. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. Oh, good. Jesus fucking Christ. To be fair, I wasn't strong. I mean, there wasn't anything to... Oh, like... it's like, I mean, like, sometimes I'll just casually hear stuff in the back of my mind sorry to just like cut in with that it's just like you know and so like one of them you know dead silent the other one like air quotes training all the time um so sometimes i hear that anyway te teal trains no what no, no. that's gonna be uh, flux with this uh, that's ass flux. Bicep okay like <laughs> <laughs> i need to start okay i Obviously, I'm friends with Rex, so I need to be friends with Teal and Flux. So I'm trying to make sure that I understand to, the two. Though? Yes, because they're parts of Rex that matter. Well, they're they're kind of their own entities, honestly. Yeah, but they're stuck in his. Yeah, they're their they're own stuck thing. in it. They just share the same body. Yeah, Still, I wouldn't I mind like, like getting nice. to know Teal better, but I'll be real. I... Yeah, you guys should be around whenever I'm asleep. <laughs> That's their turn. Yeah. I'm sort of busy with Ankar. I've been, like, digging out tunnels underneath <laughs> Ankar. I'm not gonna lie, I'm still kind of weary of Flux a little bit. Yeah, Guy is a little... I kind of have to remind him sometimes what the limits are. He yeah, tries. his limit was not cutting my arm off. To be fair, it needed to happen. Yeah, I know, but... That was actually one of the instances where he asked for permission, believe it or not. Oh. Huh. Well, in a weird way, it was more shouting and saying, let me do it over and over again <laughs> until I said, sure. Instead of actually just in doing it. But still, he didn't way. just do it. Yeah. No. Hmm. They, um, both just wanted to live. And they Some, did too. Well, one just wanted to live for his own gain, right? Those yeah. blocks. The other wanted to live because he wanted to save the twilight and neither of them knew that there was an alternative neither did i and we always thought it had to be one or the other it had to be one of us three and once the ones wins the rest of us go i mean that's how the story goes yeah yeah heading i know we found our own way we got to save teal's old kingdom save the people that he lost a long time ago. Oh, fuck, where's Senshi? I forgot he was in Ankar. Didn't mean to cut you off, but there's a fucking Senshi in Ankar. I haven't seen him. <laughs> you haven't seen him at all? Is he okay? I haven't Did seen you him. God, I hope to God I didn't get lost. I don't think... He, I mean, every so often I see, like, hoof prints or some shit, but, oh, like... He's stomping around, oh, he's then. doing great, then. Yeah, except that here's the thing. I don't see him. I've been, I walk around Ankar all the time. Maybe he's walking around circles around each other. Maybe. <laughs> God damn. Or like he's found like a hole. Maybe he found my old like bomb craft hole. Take care, oh, Lunar Gabs. possibility, yeah. 
that's not good either. There was a lot of dark shit in there. Ooh. Oh god. Like I, a um, lot. <laughs> I, yeah, no. And Flux just wanted to live. So. Yeah. Now everything, everyone gets what they want. Flux gets to do whatever the hell he wants within reason. You know. Teal did whatever he accomplished. Now he's just along for the ride. Mm-hmm. And, um, I've got a job to do. So, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, but you're gonna have us two assholes around. Oh yeah, you actually God, guys yeah. actually weren't completely useless. I mean, you dealt with her when I was upgrade. a cripple. Not completely useless. Let me get, I mean, like, hold on. Where's the fucking no, notebook? Wait, seriously, what's happening to you guys? Dan can animate a rabbit. You can freeze things and shoot them with your stupidly named bow. Hey, my <laughs> bow is perfectly normally named. Celestial Bow of the Aether Stars. Like, what? That's, that, that's when, normal. Okay. I even have to agree. Why hey. such a long name? Marshy's the, um... Counselor of an animan colony. What else? Swan is, yeah, maybe bad example. Uh, oh no! To be fair, last time we saw Swan, she Cam was a Valkyrie is now. Buff. Yeah, Cam got knighted as a Valkyrie, and she's Can been we training also talk about how ever buff since. She is, yeah. Like ever since. Like she used to be like a little. Like, like the other day, I went into Vanguard and I knocked on her door because I was going to ask her something, and she was just deadlifting, and I left. Oh. <laughs> you know. Oh. Yeah, that's fair. That's. So, yeah. I would not want to angry anger Cam like she. Angry what, what, Cam. I would angry. not want to angry Cam either. Uh, yeah. What? What was? It's just kind of hard to do. Yeah, deadlifting or anger Cam. Both. I'm also <laughs> not sorry. I probably just outed myself as the weak little nerd man I am. And I mean, but what? either way, Justin came along with you guys to kill Kane, and isn't he the one that's in control of that crystal now? Yeah, he has. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, so peacekeepers turned out to not be shit keepers anymore. What else? Yeah, Ovek Burn. helped you guys too. I guess he's just doing his own thing. God, now. don't mention oh. Ovek. He was an asshole. Hey. Really? Uh, no, I. So, between the time that we were, like, actually doing stuff, like, last time and then the day, like, not the day before, I went back to Ankar just to check up and start taking down, like, these fountains, and he was just, you know, I'm very patient, but he was just saying all this shit, and I think, like, at one point, he was like, yeah, you have a, a forgettable face, and I was just like, okay, <sighs> you don't, like, I understand, like, having a conversation but like just some of the ways that he was like speaking it wasn't normal or yeah. like in a conversation yeah. way and it was very much like he I, I i i even said like hey maybe we should all like listen to each other because you know how we all got in an argument after um kane mm -hmm. i was like hey maybe we should just listen to like swan and shit and he started laughing and i was just like what the fuck Look. and then he mentioned mentioned like the stuff with like what happened to him in Va and Vanguard, and... He's been through a lot. Maybe he's just coping in his own way. He's definitely been a bit different lately, but he really has been through a lot, Dan. You gotta cut him a bit of slack. I mean, yeah, but... If it makes you feel any better, I don't know how he could have said your face is forgettable. You literally have two different colored eyes. It's one of the least forgettable things in qualities, like... Probably. Yeah, ever. I feel like if you draw Dan's face, I'd recognize them by the eyes alone. That's yeah, a lot right? of people. Yeah, right? Like, so recognizable. But, n ugh, sorry, off top, it just that one comment really got me. Lily, like, you'd recognize her with the gogs. If they're not there, damn. What? Who is that? <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. That, that <laughs> right arm packs a punch. Oh. Dan. I feel like the younger You're brother is about to fucking die. <laughs> The other thing is with Ovek, he's dealing with a lot right now as well. He yeah, used but... to spend a lot of time in this village, which I think I mentioned the other day, just got uh... massacred. He's been helping uh... with all of the people who are alive right now, holding them up in a farm and trying to just give them everything they need. 
Uh, it's even the little things that matter. Yeah. But He's still. doing his best in his own way. We have one obstacle left. And it's... Ignis. And then I still can't... There's also that one threat. I don't know what he fits into everything, but I don't feel like he's just gone. It's Jester. I, it's... Being completely honest, sometimes when I'm asleep, I'll wake up like there are these two eyes that are just drilling a hole through my spirit. Mm. And I'll look around and I don't see anything, nothing in the walls, but I could swear that it's like right there watching me. Like it's waiting. It's been happening more recently. I figured it was just the stress, but... That doesn't sound like stress. And if it did, I would pr I would probably be hours Based on everything used. today, I don't... I feel like my biggest fight yet is coming. That's okay. You just need to worry about Rowan. Rowan Pierce. And if anyone's gonna know how to get to him, it's gotta be Ignis. So I say we either intercept the information or beat it out of her. Figure out where he is, what he's been cooking up this whole time we get to it. I'll let you know what I have of Edict's plans so far, alright? Okay. So check this. This is what I was able to gather and figure out based on reviewing old reports and everything that we've got so far. Everything that every single ritualist has done has been for catastrophic destruction, right? Yeah. The question is yeah. why? I don't think it's just for the sake of killing people. That'd be naive. I think that's to an end. But what came abundantly clear is Ignis targeted the Animan colony because it was light. They stationed Iris in the Aether because it was light. We know that they're trying to eliminate the light, but it doesn't make sense why they would kill human villages as well, right? Yeah. That is until I remember what happened on the turning of April. They sunk hundreds of souls into that machine. I think that's how that machine was actually powered. It was with the energy within countless souls. I don't know how they collect them. I've tried reading up on all the magic that I can, and it's like it's never existed before. That's we weird. always knew that Rowan could do it, his little soul sealing method, but it's not a common thing. It's only in people like me. And Rowan isn't a soulless. So the question is, why do they kill these people, and how? How are they getting their souls? And what are they using them for? Energy is one method. They're fueling. They have to be. I mean... Every single place where there's catastrophic destruction, there is evidence of the soul sealing ritual. They're gathering them. They used it to fuel that machina, but you know what they were fueling it for? To kill more people. They spent countless souls to try to collect more souls. They're filling a quota. Like they're trying to power something. Or maybe they're trying to feed something. Like what? I think Tabby already let us know. Oh. It wouldn't be because of those statues, right? The ones like in Vitrum? Your silence concerns me. And those eyes get closer every day. He's coming. I don't know how, I don't know why, but it's happening. And they're trying to return the world to darkness, completely and entirely. Like a disease. And there's only one center of all flux, of all taint. It's all the blood, it's all the extension of him. The one who knows all. Yep. 
I was really hoping you weren't going to say that, but you know what? I had that hunch when I first saw the creepy statue in Vacuous knocked us the fuck out. Yep. He's always been able to talk to Rowan Pierce. He lets Rowan Pierce know everything. Everything that pertains to this world, even all the way up to our arrival. But based on the progress that we've made, here's the catch. I don't think the All-Knower can indicate things that are beyond this world. Rowan knew of our arrival, but he never knew of what we could do, or what we would do. Ever. Mm -hmm. I mean, if he knew about what was going to happen to Cain... He would have prevented it. Exactly. That the All-Knower can't anticipate our movements, because we're not of this world. I think what that means is we're the only people that can stop him. You're right. He we are the only people he can't account for. I don't know how, and I don't know when, but his conduit, the person that's enacting his will, he's got to die. And if they're coming after me, and they're watching me, then I'll, I'll confront that. But we need to defeat Rowan. Ignis is a minor inconvenience in comparison to him. But if anything, he needs to go. You're he is the right. sole proponent. He is the conductor behind every Supreme. We thought the method was by disabling the, dis, dis, disabling the entire edict. We thought by taking away all of the Supremes, we'd take away his power and get to him. But that's not true. And it hasn't worked. He is the goal now. Him. It's always been him. And now, by fighting all of his lackeys, we're strong enough to be able to do it. I think that's true. If not stubborn enough to do it. I think with you progressing your light magic studies, I think with Marshy gaining power, I think with Lily actualizing her own potential, I think with everyone finally taking the steps towards being able to be an actual proponent, an enemy to this edict, I can only imagine what their threat levels in books look like. Yeah. Really hope mine looks low because that would be fun. Yeah. It'd We're gonna cool take to catch over. Him off guard. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Which is a good thing because Ignis notes down them. every single time they find out a new ability. Once upon a time, they didn't know about my mindscape power until like, you had to use it on Kane. And then Ignis took every precaution in the book to make sure that I could never use it on her or any of her lackeys. She is dangerous. And if we want to tiptoe around her and get to Rowan, then we're going to need to be con conscious of that. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. Sorry, just had to do my little meditation thing before... Being like, fuck yeah, let's do this. <laughs> but even so, we saved the city. This was worth it. No connection to the edict whatsoever, but it's given Unless... me the tools to fight them. Yeah, I don't think, no, if they killed off the fairies in Ankar. I don't think they would have fairies <laughs> in their ranks. That would be they fucking. They hate light. They wouldn't take anyone of light origin in their ranks. Considering how much I, all the Merrick was a greater, but Merrick was a means to an end. They utilized his desire for vengeance to destroy the Animan colonies. I don't see a world where they would permit light creatures to exist. That is abundantly clear now. Animan is of the weakest blood. They have the weakest connection to light. And yet they were holistically on their radar. They wanted to genocide the entirety of the Animan race. You know, of all the people who could have betrayed here in Silverville, I'm kind of glad it was Renee. Because when you think about it, 
so many people have biases in this place about light beings and dark beings. This just goes to show that it doesn't matter what someone's origin is. It's who they are as a person that defines how good or bad they are. Renee, by the standards of most people in this town, is trustworthy. She's a being of light and therefore can be trusted. And yet, she manipulated and tricked them this entire time. And beings of dark, Lilith, yourself, Darius, Darius, they were the ones that were manipulated. They're the ones that came to help in the end. Lilith socially outcast herself because she thought everyone would turn their backs on her. Morgana collared me because she assumed that no dreads could be trusted, and Darius was manipulated all the way up to the end, and even then, at the very last moment, he tried to do what was right. Exactly. And it nearly cost him everything. Someone's character isn't defined by their origin. It's the choices they make. Yeah. So I'd like to believe that anyone can be powerful then. It's just if they choose to walk that path. Mm-hmm. You mentioned the fairy graveyard. The crown. Is that the best Hmm? I was just praying my chat. <laughs> okay, okay. It sounded like, like you just like said a spell or something. <laughs> it sounded like you went, I'm a, I'm a type of motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know what the fuck just <laughs> happened. Good to know, Cyan. Oh, okay, you're like, oh, good to know, on. Cyan. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just, uh, fuck. It feels like it was forever ago, the fairy issues. We kind of ended up leaving it behind, but. No, Renee mentioned the graveyard, yeah. But the, the main issue, we had a... One of them, the leader... Fuck, I can't remember his name. Because so much time has been... But he was, like, pissed that people, like, broke in. And I wonder... I wonder if she had something to do with that. Yeah, well, it sounded like she had connections there, so I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, I never yeah. got mixed up with it, so I wouldn't know. Yeah, and I came in too late, so... Yeah. Oh, well, that's neither here nor there. All we know is that the signs are there, we just weren't aware of them. Now she's, she's a thief. A thief with a desire for power. Drew her to Silvervale because you probably heard of the role of Matriarch and heard of Morgana's necklace. I bet you Morgana even confided in that herself because Renee made her trust her. She wanted to rule the witches. She wanted that position of power. She wanted the role of Matriarch. I invented manipulation, bitch. Yeah, I'm give her cre <laughs> credit where credit's due. She did a really good job. Yeah, no shit. I mean, literally this entire time. The entire town fell for it. We fell for it. Lily fell for it. Morgana fell for it. She almost won. The only reason that she didn't is because you convinced Darius. I didn't think of it like that. No, really. She had no reason to reveal herself. We never would have guessed the thing with the artifact. It would have killed off Morgana and taken the necklace, and she would have just won. Probably pinned the blame on Darius and got him killed. Yeah. Uh... I mean, we saw how easily she could dispose of him. She could have made a show of avenging Morgana. Take the necklace, assume her new role as matriarch to a grateful town. It would be all too easy. But I then... do believe that she would have left the kid okay. I mean, the the amount of fucking yelling that she did, that was... Yeah. I, I don't think I've ever met someone who shot someone and then immediately started yelling that it was our fault. Um... Yeah, she's got a fucking behavioral issue, but... It's neither or like here nor 10. There. 
<laughs> like 10 or like a thousand at this point. Are you kidding me? Her fucking little wing and shit now. Hmm. Oh, Lily shot her in the wing. I did. Oh yeah, I remember that detail. Nice. She was taunting us, saying how we'd never catch her, and then I fucking shot her down like the fly that she is. Surprisingly, rabbits are very good when freaking out Yeah, I, would, I think I would be concerned <laughs> if a rabbit dead sprinted at me, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, we made a good like team, dead. Dan. I think we know what this time's coming to, though. Hmm. Hope you guys are ready to grab everything that's yours. Ah, oh, but this is my first house! No, I that's a lie. A fridge. Wherever this is in Mythos, we know this isn't where we belong. True. And um, we did our job. We dealt with the true threat. We fixed everything. Now, we get back to work. Come on, let's go say goodbye. Okay. I'm hoping you didn't say that because I have a, more tunnels to dig. God damn it! <laughs> what was with all of those charms around Ankar? I was trying to Mona. do a ward. Oh, Once again, she showed up to our house. And was just standing outside. <laughs> Why? Smiles outside your home. A couple of bandages around her appendages. Good morning. <laughs> Mona, doing okay? She rubs her arm. A little bruised, but beyond that, I'm I'm fine. <laughs> I should be asking you guys that. After all, it's because of you that we managed to actually survive this entire ordeal. Uh, we're just glad that you guys are okay. Oh my god, thank you for the raid, Multilingus. If I said that, if I said your name wrong, I Still not knocking? Yeah, she was standing out here for half an hour. <laughs> poor Mona, poor Mona. Mona, Mona, why? Welcome everyone to Mythos at SMP. We're like a live roleplay. We continue onwards. <laughs> she nods. Well, we have some things to work out in the Silver Lake Coven, obviously. Given Renee's betrayal, we've realized that we should be keeping a much closer eye on all of our belongings. Especially if they're of a town-wide importance. But... We'll manage. We won't let this stop us. It's just uh, another lesson to learn from. That's a nice way of looking at it. Hello, Blue. Hello, Rufferman. Hi, Grim. Hi, hi, everyone. Speaking of lessons, I heard all of that you did, Dan. Mona rushes <laughs> forward. Someone was talking about you guys earlier in the town square, about your bravery in battle and how you used your powers of light against Renee. You you were amazing! Celine told you all this? I knew it! I knew it! I'm so proud of you. Really, I, I couldn't have asked for a better guy to babysit. <laughs> she pauses. You know, that's not right. I, I couldn't have asked for a better friend. Slowly, Mona raises her arms and gives you a hug. Having you save my life was the best day ever. Because it helped me meet you guys. Mona? You hear her sniffle once, but then she shakes her head. <laughs> um, I'm actually here on business. <clears throat> My final piece of business. Morgana wanted to see you guys at the tower. She has some important news. Yeah, of course she does. Well, we know what happens if we keep her waiting. <laughs> Uh, well. Alright. Maybe let's, let's uh, go around the fucking rubble. Nah. We go on the rubble. Sleep parkour, you know what I mean? I yeah, 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 sure. Just having to show off even more. <laughs> Ali, yo. Ow. Oh, shit. You won't fall anymore today, Lali. Don't fall. Hey, you only fall because you're and a bozo. Look, look who's <laughs> falling behind. Yeah, I went a different direction, and then I was yeah, like, fine, I'll stick with you guys. Yeah, I went in a faster direction. Oh, look, it's everyone standing in the ruins of their cute little town. Oh, God, that is awfully dark for Tur. Vinny? Did you really just sleep through all of that? Jax fusses with Vinny's hair. Could have gotten hurt! 
I don't know whether or not to be impressed by how deep you can sleep, or worried sick about how much you can miss out on when you're out like a light. Alright, Vinny next. <laughs> oh, thanks. Something happened? Ugh. The town looks awful, huh? Oh, oh my, my god. god. Oh, Vinny. Vinny. I know it's over there, too. Fenric. Fenric looks up at the building. Uh, this is pretty bad, isn't it? <sighs> all that prime real estate. I hope those witches aren't expecting me to fix it all. Seriously? You do realize people could have actually gotten really hurt. I... You don't care, do you? You know? Okay. Take me on a trip. Uh, yeah, it was pretty bad. But I knew it would work out. I mean, those witches didn't do anything. <laughs> he had just the small choke around his neck. They could stop the rain from falling, and they could change the mind of a criminal like me. The fuck? What? Hmm? Oh, I thought you knew. Emotions to his choker. Got a caller from the coven not too... I got the caller from the coven too a long time ago. Didn't you recognize it? What? Oh. <laughs> um... <laughs> You know what? I know we always saw the per like pink thing around his neck. I don't think any of us registered it. No. I just thought it was like a nice little. Like, I'll take accent. that as a no. Eh, then you can call it some phone lore you stumbled across. Guy who owes the bookstore is a coven dog. Who knew? <laughs> yeah, but you didn't mention it at all. I just How casually supposed... mention it. He frowns. Seems like a weird thing to mention to some strangers. But I. You, you, okay. It does look different from yours, to be fair. Yeah, well, it's less yeah, detailed. It, it does. It just seemed like, you know, the type of thing that it was like a, a personal <laughs> choice. I don't know. Maggie. Magatha, our beloved. Margaret. Margaret. Magdalene. Magnet. Megalovania. <laughs> Maggie stands near her home. When she sees you, she beams and rushes forward. Guys! Ma Maggie? She leaps forward and grabs you on a big hug. She giggles. <laughs> you did it! You saved the day! I knew you would! She pulls away, her eyes practically glowing in her fluffy excitement. Tell me everything! How did you beat Renee? Did you use that light magic against light magic? Did the goddess really step in? I want to know all of it! How do you know all of that? I'm psychic, bitch! D okay, I'm the protagonist. <laughs> That you are. Celine told us everything. She told us of the whole story of how you used our techniques against Renee to save the town. But I'll admit, it's still weird to think that you guys who think the guy that who tried to kill me wasn't the bad guy. I mean, usually the people that stabbing you are the bad guys. Right. Uh, how do you feel about Darius? She pauses, thinking about it. I mean, think. I'm okay. I mean, I don't really forgive him for hurting me, but now that I know that about his daughter, I understand him. He was trying to protect his family. I've always thought since the beginning that, that dreads weren't that bad of people. Bad people aren't born like dreads, they're made through circumstances or history. You're right. She smiles awkwardly. <laughs> it will take me some time, but I'll grow ac to accept it eventually. Luckily, I don't think he'll really stick around. I don't know why he would, when he's widely known around the town known as the guy who tried to kill the matriarch. <sighs> Even with Renee in control, some people aren't easily accepting of dreads. It's unfortunate, but it's the truth. But I'm sure one day they'll understand. Uh, well, uh, we're gonna have to go soon. Yeah, I know. I mean, our experiment is over, right? You need- we needed you to defeat Darius, and you went above and beyond to help us. She holds up her hand, summoning the charge of Anima. You even gave me this new power that I can use my golems going forward. Once I figure out how to do it. 
Aggie, it's my fault that you got hurt. She holds up her hand. I know. Morgana told me about the candle thing. But, you know, I don't fault you for that, right? <laughs> I mean, you didn't expect Darius to show up like he did. Plus, I mean, I can't say that I don't get why you did it. It took us all some time to reevaluate our reevaluate your actions. Mari talked our ear off about how you behaved. <laughs> but you weren't really all that fair. You know, you're always the best of them. She pauses and smiles at you, slightly blushing. Well, the point is, I don't hold it against you. And I never will. But if you want to make it up to me, you could always come back. We could have a tea party, a princess tea party. <laughs> we'll think about it. <laughs> Come back and visit, all right? And if you haven't already, make sure you talk to Morgana before you leave. We will. Thanks, Maggie. Odin. Odin. Odin, Odin will be spending time with Maggie. You sure you're all right? <laughs> yes, I'm sure. I'll be fine, Dad. You could always come back to the mines instead of chasing injuries with those witches. I like where I am. Thanks. Besides, I still have more to learn with this new anima power. Hmm. And here's Rory. 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 Let me speak to you. Bitch. Well, <laughs> talk. Rory would stand before the house looking over Maggie and Odin. He smiles. I'm glad that we got to enjoy each other's company again. It was never my intention to get in the way of that. No. Oh. Oh. Over here! I see Tobias and Tomas! <laughs> Tobias and Tobias! You're getting pro tagged. Yeah, I am. I th I think I, I I saw it and then I think I was I think I like saw it briefly. To Thomas, you didn't see any. You didn't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he closed his eyes and he saw it behind his eyelids. And Thomas saved the day as expected. Thomas, you didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, oh. My fucking god! We already talked to Jackson, Vinny. And we'll talk Scout to Anya on the way out. Oh, Grant! <gasps> Scout! Oh, we're going to oh. Scout first, I guess. <laughs> Grant was way closer. You went All these out damages. of your way. To... We work hard to repair them together. You went out of your way to not Hello, Grant. go to Grant. Wiley, why did you go to there? We gotta talk to Grant. I fucking hate you. <gasps> we stand <laughs> up. Coward. Don't push yourself in the fountain, Dan. <laughs> what? I'm just gonna... Oh my god. Sploosh. Such a gorgeous fountain. Ruined. This never would have happened at East Haven. Oh my god. Yeah, shut but, the fuck up. Man, sometimes Oh, stuff happens. great. Hello? Lily. Sorry, I got distracted by the pretty view. Schizophrenic. Eve rubs a bandage on her head in irritation. Ugh, it's so itchy. With Silverman looking like this, I won't be able to use any of my boom terms for months. Great. Those are my favorite. Yeah, so you're still planning on causing trouble, huh? I mean, Actual gremlin. Typical Eve fashion, I suppose. Actual gremlin. Yeah, that too. But what's it to you, demon eyes? <laughs> She sticks out her tongue, but slowly her lips form a grin, and she giggles. <laughs> ah, trouble's what I do best. Not much else to do around here. I guess some things are bound to never change. Look, change is cool and all, but if something changes too much, then it becomes unrecognizable. And I'm not here to be unrecognizable. <laughs> she gives you a malicious little grin, putting her hands on her hips. I'm here to cause a scene and get all eyes on me. That tracks, yeah, that tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that being said, though, 
She sighs. I guess I could hand over some of the tension to you for today. You know, for helping and all of that. I've never been knocked out before, but I don't want that to happen ever again. And if you didn't show it, it could have been worse. I mean, we kind of won thanks to you telling me not to overthink all the I time. I meant to say didn't show up, but oh. yeah. Ah, oopsies. No, I mean, like, I had had to think about that for, like, a whole ten seconds. Too. I kind of realized <laughs> afterwards, too, but I was, like, too late to go back. and I was Yeah, like, I was just saying it so chat it wouldn't be like, huh? <laughs> Then it show what? <laughs> a lot of things. <laughs> she pauses. So, what you're saying is, you wouldn't have won if it wasn't for me. Therefore, I'm actually the winner. <laughs> yes, that's right, losers. It's always been me. Sure, Eve. Thank you for your help. I knew I would be a great teacher. She crosses her arms. Nice going, student. You weren't too bad yourself, and same with you, demon eyes. You're not bad for a devil. Yeah, right. See you later, punk. Oh, she is fucking gremlin. Actual gremlin. Actual. Is that a wall of children? <laughs> it's a wall of children. It's <laughs> a wall of children. You no, know, they just like to line up, I guess. Oh wait, but Gail's oh. first! Oh. Gail's first! Oh. Gail's first! Oh my Let's God. go! No, 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 no. Like nothing had happened, the man is the man is headed back to the riverbank. Fishing rod in hand, he whistles casually as he walks. Well, 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 if it ain't the survivors of our happy little village out here, eh? I can't I can't thank you a lot for your service you've done, and what a mighty service that was. So much so, in fact, that I think you deserve a little something. He turns to a little basket hung at his arm and digs through it for a moment, withdrawing a small bag to hand it over. Some of my very whole own homemade cookies. I sure do hope you enjoy them. Some of my finest work. Sam, I don't have the pot of tea to share. That's how you get enjoyed them cookies, I reckon. Sitting down in a circle of friendly faces and sharing a pot of nice hot tea. Relaxing, relaxing a cob black. Oh, and you know what top it all up of that? A bit of a picnic tea party, you know? Out in the nature's amongst the wildlife. <gasps> don't you think that's real nice? I sure do. Reminds me of the time that I was out in the mountain in the middle of the forest, having a picnic all by myself, and a little deer just trotted up, and that fellow wanted to join me. Of course, we couldn't really share the tea, because the deer didn't drink tea, but I did have a sandwich on me, so I did pull some of the veggies off of that sandwich and offered it over. I and I, and he did done went and ate him. Then he ran back into them trees. Absolutely majestic creature. Real good thing about to help silver, old Silverville. Otherwise that deer and the bunnies and all them little fishes would have been eventually gotten caught in the crossfire. And that would have been no good. No good at all. Thanks so much, kiddos. You made an old man happy today. With that, he grins and turns back around. Oh my <laughs> god. How did you even see the first half of that dialogue? It was cut because off he has me. a tiny GUI like an insane person. Uh... Anthony! Oh God! Does Anthony. every kid have a unique? Oh, here it comes. Oh. You remember here. all the way back in Avalon? Here we'll find out because oh. I'm clicking Hayden. You don't? No, there's an entire school of children. They all give us gifts and everything. Yeah, I still have one on me. It's in the flower they gave us. None of the Child. children want to speak, yeah. Child speak. Do they speak? Child speak. It shouldn't take this long. But back from Avalon. Anthony speaks. No, he doesn't. Anthony speak. I but... promise you he doesn't. Like, I'm going to right-click on Gale and get in this dialogue before I get in there. Avoid the... Okay, let's go over oh, here. Oh, okay, avoid the children. Let's not go over there. That seems like... Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hello, Eden. That <laughs> Gail just like popped up. Yes, yeah, same. <laughs> I just saw a wall. There we go. There you are. The children wanted to see you. They'll be near the tavern, all right. Just make sure to see them before you go. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. Oh, before right, we go. really? All right, let's go over and see <laughs> the children <laughs> before Rex actually gets so murdered. Fortunate. Oh god. Damn, the tower is really Oh, well, out. we're already over here. Remy, <laughs> <laughs> Lilith. 
<laughs> oh, where's Mari and um? Kari. <laughs> Mari, you fucking what? I could see them in my mind. I'm blanking on the name. Whatever. Hey, Lilith. <laughs> Lilith stands outside near Remy. The two of them actually seem to be talking with one another. However, when she notices you, she rushes forward. You all... Guys, uh... She stumbles over her words awkwardly, slowing her pace as she reaches you. You're all right. I see. Yeah, Medusa, thank you. Yeah, and you're okay too, right, Willa? Yes, I have the kid Kate sign. I'm the protagonist. Oh, I'm not the protagonist. I don't think Rex is either. She nods. I'm fine. I wasn't injured badly. Medusa helped fix most of my injuries. I was mostly... She blushes. I was worried about you. Aw, Lilith. She holds out her hands. Sorry if this is awkward. I just, um... I... She approaches. Is it alright if I hug you? Uh, of course you can, Lilith. It changed my mind. <laughs> Fuck oh. you guys, actually. <laughs> yeah, I forgot, um, COVID mandate, six feet. She smiles and gives you all a hug. Her cheeks and ears going even more red in the process. I have... Never given a hug to friends before. <laughs> I like it. It feels warm. Warmer than the ghosts I try to touch. It's usually freezing cold, and I can't say I like it very much. Yeah, ghosts aren't exactly the best for physical interaction. She pulls away. Akana's been wanting to talk to you all, but... You're not... Really going to leave Silverhill, are you? You don't belong here, Lilith. She pauses before she nods. I understand. I often felt that way everywhere I went before I found Silverville. I know that you have to go. But please, you're always welcome. Try to visit, all right? I have more studies to sh share with friends, people who love what I love. We'd love to hear them someday. Thank you, Lilith. Remy, 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 Dread. Okay, we'll do Kabarba. <laughs> Guys, I got a sixth sense. I feel like we should go check the Medusa before. I feel like we should talk to Morgana, here. just not more Baba, you know. Remy and Lilith would be having a conversation. It's nice to see you outside the graveyard more often, Lilith. I'm not sure how long that will last. My friends will have to leave soon. You will always have friends with me, Lilith. <laughs> Only if you want that, is, I mean. I like that. I want more friends. Why don't you start in the coven, then? Aw. Aw. Okay. I'll... Goodbye, Morgana, briefly! I love how she's like, she's like, she's like uh, ve guys! <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, uh, this, what the fuck? Everyone was outside of it, too. Yoinky Splinky. And there's- she she's on the other end of the counter, guys. Nutty. No way. Oh my goodness. Medusa yawns, seemingly exhausted. Man, all those injured dread hunters sure were exhausting to deal with. For multiple reasons. You doing okay, Medusa? I'm immediately getting protagged if I have a feeling. I am the protagonist. Motherfucker. Yeah, don't worry, I'm also protagonist. What the? Oh, oh okay. They were to say you're also I the am... protagonist. Be like, man, what the fuck? I <laughs> am the protagonist. I am the protagonist. Am... She pauses. Oh, hey. It's the good old Silvervale Heroes, hmm? Don't get that look on your face. The title won't last. It's kind of lame, huh? Although not untrue. You really put in the work this time, didn't you? 
I could never. Dread Hunter is gonna be okay. Weird question from a dread, but I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It'll just be fine. Uh, just need some patching up. Then they can go back to their little camp and they can go about their anti-dread lives or something. Who would have thought that Darius guy was just doing all this for his kid? I know. It's disgusting to think Renee used her against him. It's also pretty weird that a usually lethal head injury is entirely just not lethal. Huh? She raises an eyebrow. Most people would have died from an injury like hers, and yet she's fine. Seems like I'm not the only one to perform miracles, am I? I guess it wasn't as bad as we thought. At least I don't feel insane. I thought it was deadly too. Uh, I, I have a I have a hunch on the miracle. Eh, maybe. Rex would find himself relieved that Medusa doesn't push things. <sighs> well, we'll be going soon, Medusa. Oh, yeah. Guess that makes sense. She pauses. You know, I'm not really the type to play the sentimental card, but I guess without you guys around, we would have totally died just now, huh? Thanks for that. You guys weren't too bad. You were actually a little interesting. Oh, wow. Thanks, Morgan, Medusa. Wrong M. <laughs> and now you get crucified. <laughs> slap, slap. It almost got worse. I almost just hit her. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. And then she would have hit you, and you would have popped like a little cherry. <laughs> what about the kids? We'll get them. Yeah, let's get back oh, to the kids. God damn it! <laughs> well, if we walked over to Med I almost called her Medusa. Oh my god! <laughs> if we walked over to Morgana. Then they'd Didn't be like, more Baba. Hey, well, I wonder who Medusa. named all the witches with M names. Anthony. 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 Some of the children would be... Okay. Some of the children would be playing outside, happy as the aftermath of the battle dissipates from the somber feeling to to one of great relief. Well, if you were running around playing, a couple take notice of you. Hey, guys, it's them. The crowd begin they begin to crowd around you, chattering excitedly to themselves and beginning to bombard you with questions. How did it go? I mean, did you die? Can you teach me your magic? Uh... Uh... However, before you could get a chance to comprehend their answers, the children begin talking to one another, cutting you off. They stand there awkwardly as the Council of Children debates <coughs> something very important. You can't help but wonder briefly what in the world they could be talking about, until one of them raises a plushie to you. Thank you, uh, for saving our home. Two more approach and offered their toys as well, and then a couple others. They all appear to also be offering the, their plushies. And before you could even make the decision on whether or not you can accept, you can accept the children shove them into your hands and run away giggling. Oh. Aww. Aww. I'm not good with this social interaction. <laughs> Are you gonna cry? I'm gonna talk to my god. Are you Jesus good? Jesus Christ. <laughs> More <Okay>. Gaba. <laughs> okay. More Gaba. More Baba. Morgana stands before the tower in size. This shall truly require some time to repair. She adjusts the necklace around her neck carefully. Perhaps we may redecorate the top. The lack of windows was rather drafty, I suppose. And take it for someone who cares about decor. She smirks. 
<laughs> well, I can't exactly allow my coven to work for a pigsty, can I? <laughs> Wonderful to see you're all back on your feet. Nice to see you too, Morgana. She bends the knee to all of you carefully, bowing before each and every one of you. I believe you're all deserving of a thank you on behalf of all of Silvervale, but especially on behalf of the Silverlight Coven. Ah, uh, you really don't have to do that, um... Why is this the second time this thought, is happening? But I just am not gonna finish it. No, please. I insist. She bows before you further. We had little time to discuss it before. Given the unfortunate circumstances, naturally, but I truly do wish to apologize to each and every one of you. You deserve better than I offered. And I was too naive and blind to see that. Thanks, Morgana. I'm sorry, too. She rises once more. It is because of you that Silvervale may now stand tall once more. Despite the, the damages that will need repairs. I am confident that we shall regain our previous prosperity in due time. I'm glad to see that you're not just giving up. Naturally not. And in some ways, it is you who taught me that. Your determination and perseverance in light of your treatment was a true inspiration. I merely wish I had seen it sooner. In the face of adversity, you continued to trudge forward, and you never gave up. I am glad that I did not imprison you. I yeah, I'm pretty glad about that one, too. I'm the protag. And... Speaking of imprisonment, I believe there's one last thing I must do, hmm? She walks over to Rex and draws back your coat, revealing the pink collar around your neck. She carefully places her fingers under the bell, giving it one last jingle with a small sigh. Or a small laugh. <laughs> I suppose I should get this collar off you, shouldn't I, Rex? She lifts her hands and snaps her fingers, and in an instant, the collar turns to mists and vanishes from your throat. You have one that he can wear that isn't magic? She laughs. <laughs> I would speak to Maggie on such things. But the fact is, you won't be needing it anymore, will you? <laughs> You're free to go, Rex. And you and your friends are naturally welcome back. Anytime. Should you wish to visit. Silvervale's barrier shall always be open for you. Thank you, Morgana. We'll see you later. Man, that tower is fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. There's still lumps of, um, taint up there, though, from the heart. Mm -hmm. You know, whenever you popped it, and then it just kind of scattered. Yeah, it was kind of like a zit a little bit. It was really gross. I felt like Don't. I was tased. You no longer have a pink collar on you. God bless. Ah, I fell in a hole. I was about was to a... make a cheeky st uh, statement too. about you needing another collar, but then I fucking died. I saw um, a couple of individuals back here. Hmm? A couple? Hmm. Oh shit, they're gone. We've missed our opportunity. The window of opportunity has closed. <laughs> Who was it? Who did you see? Well, I guess we'll never know now. Shit! See, epic music. Da 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 Damn, another hero title. Even if this one isn't as official, but damn. I'm lost. Cool, I, I will go back to being useful again this way, fellows. Oh shit, I went a different direction. Oh shit, you I followed him in that different direction. Fucking nerds. <laughs> <laughs> I figured walking back towards our house and walking around from there was the way to go. 
Oh, I've fallen and I... Why'd you get old? Uh, Ina? Oh, wait, where was Ina? She was up in the front of the magic shop. Shit, we gotta Dan, go. you should have said something, oh, Dan. Man. I did! Kayla, Come on, Dan. I thought you were the guide. Galen followed you? All the way from the Aether? What? Kayla? I thought you said... Oh, I thought you said Galen. I got so excited. Nah, 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 nah. nah. Yeet. Hello, Ina. <laughs> What? How did Lily get there? Happens to be the one... Why'd you oh, just go what? all the way around? Because <laughs> I followed this idiot thinking that he did actually know what he was doing. Because we're Twiddle D and Twiddle Do. Twiddle Do? Oh my god. I know, let me talk to you. Ina is holding a broom, attempting to sweep up any of the debris in front of her hot shop. My trade with Rex has expired. She stops when she notices you approach, leaning on the broom with a smile. Oh, hey, perfect timing. With everything happening, I wanted to find you. So thank you for, for and thank you and the Silverlight Coven for your hard efforts. My shop wasn't broken in during the onslaught, which I'm really grateful for. The only really annoying thing is that I have to sweep all this rubble away. Hey, let's make a deal. For what you did for Silverbell, why don't I provide you with a discount the next time you come shop here? Any item, you just name the price. Sound like a deal? Uh, yeah, yeah, thanks you, thank you, Ayana. <laughs> of course, of course, my pleasure. Now, if you don't mind, I do kind of want to get back to cleaning so that my shop is presentable for the next time you visit. <laughs> you all take care now. Ina turns to begin sweeping again. Oh. Rats, the potted plant. Man. She sighs and shakes her head. That was a very cat phrase. Man. Oh, oh rats. Man. Oh, oh rats. Man. Squints. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Squints through glasses because she already has too hard of a... T t <laughs> you can rat. I've just Rattin pictured Kat out. saying that line and throwing a smoke bomb as her feet as she makes her nefarious getaway. <laughs> <laughs> is that Honora? That is Honora. Oh my god, thank you for the raid, Julie Berry. Hello, Exeter. Hello, Dana Vulture. Someone it's... tells me I shouldn't have done this. Oh, shit. I'm filled with deep regret and humiliation. <laughs> Guys, look, Darius and Steph are over here. There's also an edge. Oh, Ow! Oh, oh, no. Nope. The, the, the particles the sprinted back to Honora, Honora, so they want us to they want us to stay with Honora. Hello, Caden. Welcome. All right, yeah, there we go. Thank you for <laughs> I just saw like the particles dash through like towards Honora, and I was like, that's the way. I love you, particles. Oh, you like did you get your books? Oh, yes. God. Honora crosses her arms, standing at the edge of the city. She scoffs as you approach. <laughs> I certainly hope that you won't be expecting a thank you from me. Nah, thank you from you, which is being sincere. Glad to see we're on the same page. She glances towards Darius with hatred. <sighs> to think Morgana would protect such a devil as that. He was doing this for his daughter. We all have people we wish to protect. But that does not excuse evil deeds with dark magic. I don't care what his reasoning was. He's still vile, just as you are. Right, like I said before, I guess some things just don't change. What? Before she can hear what you meant by that, you'd begin to walk away. What? You cannot simply walk away from me like that! Excuse me, I demand you stop this instant! <laughs> Bitch. Thanks for the follow, Julie Berry. And, and I'm glad you. I got the last laugh. Steph, Steph is, is talking, talking to, to yeah, thank you. A bit confused. Her head would be spinning practically. Oh god, Darius, what are you doing? Oh boy, look at that mask. Look at the those. Mask. I had to take notes. What? Shut up. You don't even know that I'm doing that. <laughs> meta, would you be more meta? I'm sorry, I'm meta. sorry. There's a meta comment. <laughs> Darius stands with his daughter near the cart. As you approach, he glances at you. Darius? He nods. Silver eye. You don't have to be so cold, you know. Steph frowns. 
Darius sighs. <sighs> right. Of course. Are you feeling stuff? Better. Just kind of confused. So you're saying that we came from actual dream house? And then someone down the line, you passed me off to mom be because you were being hunted? Correct. You have golden eyes. Correct. You realize this is a lot, right? At least now you guys have time to get to know each other. <laughs> Thank you for the raid, Ings Ingzefor? If I said that wrong, feel free to correct me. Also, Yuli, thank you for the follow. Beanie, thank you for the follow. Yeah. Darius would remain quiet, glancing between Honor and Severn, who stand nearby. I can't be certain of that, unfortunately. Even if the situation was not started by my hand, it was my hand that dealt most of the blows. I doubt that she'll allow me to simply walk away. If it weren't for Morgana's orders against killing me within Silvervale, I would already be slain. Thank you for the, for the follows ever. That's not fair. Your world isn't fair. And it never has been. <sighs> Although, I can hardly say that's just your world. Even Dramos is unfair. Life is just shitty. That's it. <sighs> Staff size. Yeah, but justice can still be overcome. Was it a double raid? Thank you. I'm so sorry. I have like minimized notifications right now because I don't have two monitors. We'll see. He starts to walk away. In the very least, I can return you to Vitrum, Stephanie. So that's what you want? Yeah. I want to go back to Mom, but... I want you to visit, you hear? She glares at him. He blinks. <laughs> I always have. And... Before we leave... He turns back to all of you, and slowly... Reaches for his mask. Removing it for just a moment. Thank you. I'll mention it. Nice. Now go. Severin. <sighs> One more obstacle. Hey, if you get a chance, you can totally say something wicked fucked up to him, and then when Oh my god, that's horrible. I think we should do it, though. Absolutely no. <laughs> I'll just hear him out, I guess. Severn is quiet as he glares at Darius. His hand remains on the hilt of his blade before. Eventually, he just sighs and removes his hand from his weapon. You begin, to your surprise, to walk away entirely, leaving Darius. You feel as though there is so much more to learn about Severn. But it seems time will never tell some stories. There he goes. You know, I'm kind of okay with seeing him leave. Yeah, I think so too. I'm gonna head back to Vanguard. I wonder who's gonna tell our story. I don't know. Feeling like a writer, Dan? You want to write this tale down? Put it in I a mean, book? considering that I am a writer, yes. Oh shit! You forgot that I knew that. that. I, I knew yeah, that. I yeah, 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 you did. Yeah, about a hundred percent. Totally remembered that I wrote. I wrote down everything about flowers in my notebooks. Yeah. Follow. Minion lover nineteen. <laughs> Thank you for following. Happy birthday. Thank you, Ovek. Even though it's not for another couple of months, I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, Ovek came into my chat and was like, it's Lily's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my birthday, but I'll take it. It's not even Is like- Is it not your birthday? birthday? Happy birthday. Happy birthday, <laughs> Lily. No, no, no. 
Happy birthday, Lily. Happy birthday, Lily. Happy birthday, Lily. Happy birthday, Lily. All right, all together now. We're going to sing Lily happy birthday. Ready? Three, two, one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lily. Happy birthday to you. Oh, wait, it's mine? Ovec. What? Wait, no, Ovec. Fuck, Ovec, it is his birthday. Shit, I didn't realize Happy birthday to Ovec. Happy birthday to Ovec. Happy birthday, dear Huevo. Happy birthday to Ovec. Hi, Ovec. Oh my god, Ovec manifested himself in this Rex skull. took down the moon and now Minion Lover followed. Coincidence? I think not. Oh, fuck, you're right. <laughs> We're gonna steal the moon. I'm gonna steal the moon. We're gonna steal the moon. Oh, happy birthday, Ovec. We love you, especially all of us here at Mythos SMP. Chat, tell us how much you love Ovec. We just give me a line Ovec. of just, we love you, Ovec. You guys are good. I just need a happy birthday from Minion Lover 19. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hate to Minion, Lover spot, 19. Minion Lover 19. But... Come on, give him the happy birthday. Come on, Min in Lover 19. Yeah! He said happy birthday! Yeah! I'm all set. Thank <laughs> you, Minion Lover. Take here. care, Huevo. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now I'm going to head to Vanguard. <laughs> Peace out, everyone. Strangely enough, I'm going to mess this place. I'm going to miss the house. We never got a fucking fridge. Do you know how ridiculous that is? To well, own a house you... but not a fridge? <laughs> not even a freezer. Not even an icebox. Do you have a fridge in Vanguard? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I, want, I, want, I wanted a freezer. I wanted an icebox. I wanted anything. We have none of them. You know what? Even Lilith noticed. Lilith was like, where's your fucking fridge? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. You I'm going to order some fridges for Vanguard. Okay, Lily. It's going to be great. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right. Peace out, everyone. Goodbye. Let's head back to Vanguard. Oh, God. My brain just went places. Also, welcome everyone who is new here. Hello, Hexes. How are you doing today? I can actually ask a few, like... Fun questions because I know Halloween was yesterday. Also, Ovek, if you're still here, I give you lots of hugs and ha happy birth, happy birth, <laughs> you know, all of that fun stuff. Also, my game just randomly got darker. Very strange indeed. But okay, so first things first, for all of the new raiders and whatnot, thank you for the like double, triple raid. I got raided many times today. It's kind of wild. Halloween yes yesterday. Actually, now it was two days ago with my time like zone and all that. But did you guys do anything fun and whatnot? What? I walked past Mari? What? I did? What? Did I walk past Mari? Oh my god, you just walked past Mari! Oh my god, Mari! She was in the cart! Oh, well, I wasn't paying attention! She is inside of this cart! <sighs> okay, I'll go, go, do, do, come she is standing back. within said cart! I didn't Why see she... her! Oh, there goes Lily. Oh my god, a raid? Yeah, I got triple raided. I'm under the cart. I'm under- Gino. You did this all to yourself. Hold on, let's all look at Lily and clown on her. No! Okay. I'm gonna look at her under the cart. In my defense, I backed in and then turned around this way. So there's no way I could have seen Mari. I like- Bozo. Bozo. Oh. Bozo. They just put me back under the cart. <laughs> let's go look at her. Let's go look at her. Come on. What? <laughs> Quickly, break everyone. my way out. No! Oh. Look at her! She's stuck! <laughs> she's stuck! Step bro! She's stuck! Put the ew, grass ew. back! I'm putting it back- I'm putting it back behind me. You broke one extra block than you needed to. Oh. I can't place this. Bozo. There we go. <laughs> Alright, take that? two, take two. No! Thanks. <laughs> the door! <laughs> I thought you went back in. under the cart somehow. Stop. Let me in. Martha. Hello, Martha. <laughs> How'd he do? Yee. Oh my god, are you vibrating again? Lily's going to build a house out of fridges. Are you gonna build one giant fridge and live in it, Lily? Absolutely. I think you could That's with that shit you're... around your neck, man. Oh my god, I totally could. The woman stands in the cart. She clears her throat. <clears throat> I anticipated you would come here. Jesus, Mari! Lily didn't even see you! She crosses <laughs> yeah, her literally. arms. Did you really believe you'd leave without a goodbye to me? Hmm? 
Yes. I mean, no, no, no. Wouldn't wouldn't dream of it. Absolutely not. Wouldn't do it either. Mm -hmm. Slowly, she brings down her arms and sighs. <sighs> it is strange. I may have premonitions of the future. I may foresee that which has not been done yet. And yet, I never foresaw growing attached to you like I have. You are truly something to behold. That's, uh, but, yeah, one way of putting it, I guess. She stares. I wish for you to return. I have more questions regarding your stories. There's much more I wish to learn. You know, we'll think about it. I suppose that's all I could ask for, isn't it? She gives you a small smile and crossing her arms. Thank you. For everything. And don't mention it, Myri. Mm. You fucking oh, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Take us home, Gina. I know that Lily's not trying to split the party. <sighs> I didn't see her. <laughs> now I'm under the game. Oh, I'm God. sorry, who just followed me on Twitter? Stop uh, everything. What? Who? I need to figure this out right now. What? Because I accidentally swiped the notification away because I was looking at my chat. But we gotta find this out right now. Um, hey, by the way, uh, there's a Darius and Onkar. What? There's Hold a Darius on. and Onkar. Stop! 22 D yard schlong just followed me on Twitter. What the fuck? 22 yard schlong. Wait, where? Where, Dan? Where, Dan? Over here. Over here. Did what I walk past the him fuck? too? You fucking what? Oh, Lily. I I was all the way up that hill. Lily, the man stops you from outside the cart. Hang on a moment, Silver Eye. Why are you an on car? He narrows his eyes. Upon your departure, I wish to give you something, but outside the eyes of the hunters. He glances around. It took us some time to lose him. Yeah, a lot of time. So you you followed us to give us something? I, what? I'm a little confused. You don't have to answer, I guess. I didn't want one anyways. He nods. I realize in our counter, Silver Eye, that I forgot to give you this. He hands you a new gauntlet, unlike anything you've seen before. What? After taking yours, I believe it's only fair that you take mine. He pauses, looking you in the eyes. Something wrong? Blindly. That's what my chat just said. We're getting diffed. We are getting diffed. You remind me of him. King Mantis. <clears throat> he was a good man. It's a shame that... Sometimes... Good men are the ones that lose their lives first. With that... Darius would leave quickly, running off into the forest and vanishing. Oh, good good for you, bud. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh my god. There's a royal seal on the inside of this thing. That thing is chonky as well. That is a chonky boy. There's a fucking royal seal of Dramos inside of this thing. Damn. Oh. My. Fucking god. Well, I mean, it works out. And it does. Lose your gauntlet, get a better gauntlet, lose your flex spell, probably get a better spell. Woo! Woo! Alright. Ex-royal guard of the old King Mantis. This has a spell loaded in it, too. Damn. I'm gonna have fun figuring that out. <laughs> Good thing you live with dead people, or else I'd be concerned. Yeah, <laughs> thank god your house isn't in Vanguard anymore. Alright. What? 
I'm yeah. going to head back to Vanguard for real this time. <laughs> for real, third time is the charm. Please let me leave. <laughs> no. You're stuck in Ankai. I'm gonna look like, right. five, five more feet ahead and then be like, Lily, you ran past Mona who just appeared out of nowhere and I'm gonna lose my shit on someone. <laughs> Let's see you, Lily. Rest. I, peace out, everyone. No. Okay. Now we head back to Vanguard. <laughs> it took us a few tries, but we're finally getting there, boys. I would honestly call today a success, though. Good day. Um, but yeah, for everyone who is like new from the raids and whatnot, thank you for the follows, by the way. Sorry if I missed anything. Um, I have a much smaller like follow box right now because of the, I used to have two monitors. I don't at the moment. I'm at college and all of that. So yeah, Mona appears like <laughs> Waluigi in Mario games now. It's just canon. Honestly, that'd be so fucking funny and based. I would live it, live it up with it. Um, but yeah, for everyone who's new here, Mythos SMP is technically an SMP, but use your phone. Oh my god, what's on my phone? I don't see anything on my phone at the moment, so I think I'm okay. Oh wait, use your phone for- oh, okay, okay, okay. That's the thing, I use my phone to keep up with chat, but I don't get notifications, like, the phone- shows the notification right when it happens however there's a delay so i hear the like ding of a follow notification in stream and it takes another like minute or two for it to show up on my phone and i have to be looking at my screen in that moment to see the notification so it would work as okay we'll check your phone again Skill issue. Honestly, accurate skill issue. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. Here we go. Am I going the right way? I think I just did a wrong detour. Oh, this is, this could be worse. Me Wait, is it mellow or Milo? Mellow. I feel like it's going to be mellow. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. If I got it wrong, feel free to correct me. I, we need to get out. Do, 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 do. Wrong backpack. I have, let's drink some coffee. Get ourselves a boat where we're vibing out here in the, the the great wide blue sea all of that you know i don't know <laughs> i think i might be insane all right let's take this we got some plushies boat oh you guys get to see vanguard for the first time okay i'm not explaining this i keep going on tangents mythos is like a live role play a uh, lot of oh it's mellow okay i love your name it's really dope um vanguard funny moment yes yes i'm turning in for the night good night slytherin i hope you have a lovely night make sure you get lots of rest and all of that oh my god my navigational skills is like zero we're gonna go the long way but yeah we're it's an smp that's live on twitch and it's basically like a role play we use custom npcs and an ftb mod pack with a bunch of like additions and all of that and it's pretty dope so yeah feel free to tune in whenever uh, we also stream other things as well, but this is our, like, main type of content. We put a lot of effort in it and all of that jazz, so, yeah. Put it out there. Oh, I'm so excited. I get to show up. We're going, we're going to this, this little city thing over here. Like I said, we're kind of taking the long route because I'm too lazy to actually... Okay, you know what? No, no, I'm not too lazy. We're gonna do this the right way. Let me, let me get out of here. There you go. But yeah. I didn't get, I either missed it or I wasn't like paying attention, but did you guys do anything fun for Halloween yesterday or two days ago now? We gotta remember time zones are a thing. Either yesterday or two days ago, depending on where you are. You guys good? No. Why I did moved I get out of this chat for a reason. What the? Did I not move I out of I dragged away cat. I'm still streaming, Rex. What? Oh, I'm what the fuck? Streaming. I thought you ended yours. No, I moved to a different streaming room and everything. <laughs> Why are they all following? Why are they all following? <laughs> guys. Guys. I'm still streaming. Hi, Lily's chat. Oh my God. I knew that I was going to raid you, Bozo. Oh, it's okay. I mean, well, you do. You should know because I talked about doing stuff prior to stream after the end of stream that I'm going to do right now. I don't remember any of this. This is okay, but, but, uh, <laughs> Do 
It's fine. I can see when I'm not wanted. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> Have fun. Peace out, boys. Sorry, friends, All rooting. Right. All right. <laughs> see you later. See you later. Oh, God. That's so fucking funny. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed earlier, too. I, like, pressed the key bind to, like, go into like the fade or whatever and the theme of opera but it didn't go off and i'm pretty sure the last thing you guys heard was like rex saying we good and me being like yeah and he's like sweet or something like that. <laughs> and it was so fucking funny i'm like mm, i'm so bad at pressing my keybinds half the time all right let's go work on shit though because oh my god vanguard so lucky oh wait yeah for raiders I kind of just brush past everything. This is my city. Welcome. I can show off like one nice thing over here. Ooh, I have no render distance. Yeah, look at this place. Looking mighty fine. I don't know what happened to the roof there. Oh, there it is. <laughs> but yeah, place kind of dope. I need to go work on that mask though. Honestly, I got pretty far. I need to talk to Lemia sometime soon to check on my progress. I was working on the materials for it because she was all like, eh, this won't hold up in different temperature conditions and all of that. And so, oh, hello? Oh, hey, look. Dog, what the fuck are you making? This ventil, this ventil, look at the mesh. Look at them. There's peanut butter on it. Is that grape jelly I see hey, too? Hey, get off of my chair. What the fuck are you doing here? Why are you Okay, here? I'm trying to fix your, okay. Wear that mask, Lily. Wear that mask. Tell me it's gonna what? work against flood. Wear it. Wear it right now. Well, of course right. it's gonna. Well, it's it's not done yet, but it's gonna work eventually. I, no, see, wear look, it right now. The ventilator, the ventilator is all okay, messed up. It's not. It's not gonna. Wear the mask. I'm gonna wear the mask. Wear the mask. I'm gonna put it on. All right. You see, I'm I'm gonna prove mm -hmm. the point. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. This thing is not gonna stop. Shit. Mm -hmm. All right. You ready? <laughs> Did you try to shoot me? <laughs> yes. You fucking asshole. Okay, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Back up, back up. You broke into my house and just shot a flux spell at me. No, I was proving a point because you can't make a fucking mesh. It's so simple. Okay. What is wrong is, with your it's, mesh? It's, it's, okay, a listen, I get... it's a new thing I'm trying. Jesus fucking Christ. I already <sighs> made a working mask. I'm just experimenting. What are you doing in my house? You like, made a working Yes, I did. I already did. Why is it not? Why is this one not working? Because I'm trying a bunch of new things. Jesus fucking Christ! Who who, who is Jesus, the by fucking, the way? Who called on the fucking inventing police? Not me. <sighs> why are you in my house? Okay, because I don't really have anyone else I can turn to at the moment. D turn around. Yeah. What? The fuck happened to your clothes? Oh, I did. You remember us fighting Kane, Lily? You know, he kind of went at me for a yes. while. Yeah. That's kind of why I'm here anyways. You I can't didn't exactly. bother to fit. Turn around. Turn around. Yeah. We're going to have to fix that. We're going to have to fix that. Dude, you have... Yeah. How is that... How... That is defying all logic. There's like a giant hole in the back of your hood. It's not a hood. This is a jacket. I don't even have a hood. Listen, I don't really have anyone I can turn to at the moment. Justin, I think, still wants to kill me. The wound's still a bit fresh with Swan. So you're my best option at the moment. Uh-huh. So I'm your last choice. Well, there was Marshy, but I didn't really want to go with Marshy. You know. Mm hmm she was lower on the list, if that okay, helps. Okay, what exactly are you asking me to do here? Okay, I just... <laughs> can you just, like, take me into your custody for a bit? I don't know if the edict... Take I you think the edict... into my custody? Yes. Like a dog? No. But I kind of need a place to lay low for a bit. I don't oh know if the edict's my after God. me. You realize you tried to kill me, right? Yeah, and you lived. Your vessels, it's fine. And I lived, and now you show up in my house. Mind you, you broke in. Shoot a flux spell at me, and you want me to take you in? Yes. Listen, okay? Oh, Listen, I was proving a point with- the I was proving a point- nerd. I was proving a point with the mask. I wasn't originally planning to shoot you with a flux spell. It wasn't even a you flux spell. You weren't planning. You just that was a cloud. That was a cloud. That was a cloud, okay? That was a cloud, okay? Listen, 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 listen. Uh-huh. Please. 
I don't really have anywhere else to go. I don't have anything to lose. So please, just, please, just, I need a place to stay. You look so pitiful that I don't think I can bring myself to say no. Uh, I'll take it. Fine, yes, I'll, I'll take you in. We're not using the term custody. Yes. That shit sounds so fucking weird. Man, I didn't know what else to say. I wasn't really preparing a speech or anything. I saw this, like, mess of a workplace. Okay, like, don't even push my work. Don't push your luck, okay? Remember, I'm Anyways, taking you um, in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, don't, don't, careful, careful. Yeah. Um, so, do I get, like, a house or something? I don't know. <laughs> you think you get a house? <laughs> All right, well, we'll, we'll see what we can throw together for you. Let me explain something to you really quickly, though. What mm -hmm. do you understand about this city, exactly? Um, I accident. well, I wouldn't say accident. I helped Kane to get over that one time. Uh-huh. Yeah, and what do you think results in the political environment of a city when that happens? Not well from what I saw. Uh-huh. What are you doing? I'm getting your living arrangement ready. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. What is it? Why is this? What? What is up with this gemstone? What the? Ignore that. It's a souvenir. Okay, I'm but we're, we're back on this. So you're telling me you want a house, like a full house to yourself, fully well knowing that everyone here hates ritualists. Because, I you know, mean, one took over their home. Well, I know the other graders are here. That is so different, and you should know that. You ready for this? You ready for this? Mm-hmm. This... Mm-hmm. Is um, something that just doesn't want a place. All right. Is that yellow? <laughs> Did no. I see yellow sheets, Lily? Oh my god, why don't you want a place? I can't even place it down. What it are won't you doing? place. Are you trying to put me in here, in your closet? Well, yeah, duh. You know you what? Just I'm stay right it. there, stay uh, right there. Yeah? What yeah, are you doing? Stay right there. What are you doing? I'm are you locking you home? I'm not locking you in. Are you this... locking me? In? I'm I not, do not locking wanna... you I'm... Do in. Do not there. put me in another box, Lily. You're not Lively. in a box. You're in your home. This is your home now. All right. Clearly, this bed doesn't want to work. Clearly. So you're I'll, gonna have I'll to sleep on the sheet. ground. I've I done have. It before. Here's a plushie for you. Here's some Thanks. coffee. You look like you need it. And, yeah, it's been a hot uh, minute. Since you liked the peanut butter on the mask so much, here's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You can I'm have a very hungry. nice life. I will check up on you in like two to three days. Just, just like that, just like that. Nothing else. Sorry, my bad. Do you want to go to one of your other options? All of your many, many ones that you listed. <sighs> All right, thanks. Yeah, I, I, that's right. I, I'll just this is your living this arrangement. A, I'll use this as a pillow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can if you can figure out how to place it, it's all yours. Thanks. Is this is this fireplace just a nightlight? Why is this in here? Yeah. Why do you have to... this? Is a herald. Why not just use a nighter? Well, because he's nice. Kill it and you're dead. Okay, I'll just, I'm just gonna stand right here. Mm -hmm. It's gonna, it's gonna mm -hmm. do this. And... Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Thanks for taking me in, Lily. Look. You're welcome here, okay? And if you do need anything, you can come out and get me, just not when there's anyone nearby, okay? Yeah, I Really? I had to rift in here, by the way. I don't have a lot of... I figured as much. There was that. no way you were getting past everyone in the city. Just... Look, 
the, the, the political environment here isn't great. You're not mm-hmm. going to be welcomed with open arms. In fact, I'm pretty sure many people here would immediately try to kill you. Not to mention if any of the vessels, and I mean any of the vessels found out that you were here. You cannot, do not, do not let, do not let Justin know I'm here. Do of not hurt anyone. Of course I won't, but I'm telling you, you don't do yourself any harm either, okay? Yeah, I'll just, I'll stay here in this closet. I've been here before, haven't I? Wait, don't I steal remember my shit that... either. And I'm oh not my God, before I forget, give me hand over your shit immediately. All of it. Uh, just, g- give me a second. Gauntlet and everything. Give me a second. All right, I give me my stuff. This, this goes here. Yeah. Okay. Can can I at least keep the notebook and the crystals? Maybe they're not too important. Are you like an addict or some shit? What? You're not gonna no. sniff them, right? No, they're not vis crystals. Okay. You're not gonna they eat are- them, right? No, they're just they're ordo crystals. Okay, I kind of needed them. They're not ordo like. crystals, but yeah, whatever. They're close. Okay, just the have notebook. the notebook. You're not gonna be able to understand this, but please, it's really important. Fine. Yeah. Whatever. The rest of this I'm keeping, okay? Can I have the resonator? No. It's just a fancy wrench. Is it really? I think not. It's just a fancy wrench. Don't push your luck. Okay. You're lucky I'm even letting you stay here. Yeah. Uh, Thanks. I guess I'll see you in a bit. If you need help with, like... You know that. You oh know, come on! I you mean... can, you can. It, it's a mask. Don't, don't, don't say that. <laughs> Is it really that bad? I'll call it a mask when it can, you know, solve your flux problems. <sighs> All right. I guess. Have a good night. I don't really know what time it is. I've been here for a while. You guys take a while. All right. Well, I'm going to head up. You can leave the door open for now. The second you hear someone come in or break in, because apparently that's a new thing people like to do, what just do you mean it's shut a new the door. Thing? It's a do- they, they are, that is learned behavior. You know who they learned that from? You guys. Shut up. You guys I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. You get, you're talking you get, do it all the time. All the time, Lily. All the time. I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean you don't? No idea what you're talking learned about. Learned behavior. Learned behavior. I didn't do this before. I didn't do this before. I didn't. This was. This is a new thing. This is a new thing. Oh, so you just started randomly rifting into people's homes? Like, this is a casual thing you just decided to do? Yes. You know, I didn't do this shit up until like what two fucking year and a half ago. Uh-huh, all right, uh-huh, uh-huh. This, this is this is a learned behavior because all you vessels do it is okay, a vessel. And who did thing. you learn it from? Who did you learn it from? Literally all the people I hung around. Okay, uh, I don't people. think I was one of those people. I'm just gonna throw that yeah, one out there. Yeah, you weren't. But like, like it's just a vessel thing. Justin, it's should a I vessel. Be, does Justin open roofs in people's houses? I don't think I'm so. I'm not talking about roofs. You guys just walk in random people's oh, houses. Oh, then where did you learn the roof from? Hmm. When did you get that bright idea? It's a learned behavior, yeah? Right, right, right? That was the other vacuous anyways. Gonna... Yeah, that's what I thought. Good night, Lowie. Good night, Fern. Sleep well. Maybe you can get Thanks. that bed put down. I'll show you. No, oh, yeah. I'd like to see you try. And with that, we'll be ending off stream here for the night. I hope you guys all enjoyed, and um, yeah, hope you all have like a wonderful day slash night, evening, brunch, breakfast, for you may be, and I will see you guys all next time. All right. <laughs> for just reappearing was a jump scare. <laughs> all right. Peace out, everyone. Bye-bye.